Hello everyone, it is Deja Vu. I have a very exciting video for you today. Uh, just a month ago, we had three final tables in big tournaments, and we released uncut version of that Sunday stream. You guys really had great positive feedback. Well, we have another stream that had three final tables, the biggest three tournaments of the day on Party Poker, the 1K Grand, the Super 320, and the Super 215. All three ended in a final table, and the stream was so packed with action, I thought it'd be useful to uh, give you guys the whole recording. So what we've done is we've cut out the five minute breaks here. Other than that, you see the entire stream uh, with all of the action included, which means you don't just see the highlight hands, which we typically have on this channel, which is just like big all ins and big strategic decisions, but you also see the more boring and straightforward hands, right? Where I decide to see bet, where I decide to check back, maybe I decide to put in a second barrel on the turn, what hands I decide to play pre-flop, all of that you're going to find in this video. So it should be really instructional if you come here to learn about poker. Um, and if you're just a big fan of watching poker highlights, you'll get to see it in its entirety. So thanks so much for checking it out. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And without further ado, enjoy the video. All right. So we are already in the Super 55 and I'm just gonna register the 320, the Grand and the 109 deep stack as we get going here. Here's the 320, good stuff. Uh, okay, only really no Tony Soprano on the table. And next up is the 1K Grand, hopping in. Who's on our table today? See Matty Ice in here. Uh, Johannes, Thomas Aaron, Michael S. Vojtek. Andrea Radici, Paul Durst, I don't know. So that is an unknown to me. Everyone else we've played with some in this tournament before. That's cool. And then let's get the 109 six max deep stack. Matty Ice is in third place in this one. Let's print today. That's the plan, my friends. That is the plan. Let's make it count. Uh, Lil Dis Nick <laughs> seven. Hello, thank you for being here. Nice name. Yorkshire Ace, 1990. Hello, man. All right. A nice starting four. And we have our two tournaments starting up in 25 minutes as well. So we're just going to uh, let that be. You know what I'm saying? Let it be. Abinat Solis in the house. Hello, Abinat Solis. Welcome. So this is a freeze up. This is not a knockout. Put this in blue. Can we improve on our fourth place finish? This is just a special tournament for us, man. The Grand. It's a very special tournament. I hope we can. I really hope. Mr. Tony Soprano raises under the gun. I think we got a full ace 10 for that reason. Not enough. The 5 8 is going to be a fold as well in middle position. So we're at 29 players entered. It's 40,000 guaranteed, so it needs 40. Uh, and there's two hours and 24 minutes left at red. So I think likely it's going to hit it again. It's obviously a busier time in online poker now as well. Things are picking up. The summer is over. Fall is here. And uh, action is a plenty. So I expect there to be. A decent amount of players in the grand, probably, and I think we will hopefully start to see the field grow a little bit. I'd love to get it back up to, like, a 50K guarantee, if we could, you know. It's such a good spot. Like, 15, 16 qualifiers from 109. Uh, it's just, it's a really good value 1K. It's a good opportunity to take a shot, because I think there's a lot of other people that take shots at this through qualifying up. Um, 
And then, yeah, likewise, it's a good spot for professionals because I think there's a lot of people where this is the first 1K they play, you know, because they get in for like a dollar or $10 or, or $100. That's quads. Quads is pretty good. I do want to inflate the size of the pot, but I think this is probably garbage, right? So I want to let total air balls keep be air balling, you know? Call again. Hopefully they have ace jack. We go for the big bets, and we're going to raise all in. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, that is so sick, dude. I flop quads, they flop tens full. That's so sick. Oh my goodness, man. What a start to the day. My goodness, dude. So we call here with the 1250 bounty for like 1500 chips, it's really not a lot. Um, and fold here. That's insane. Talk about a cooler. Well, it wasn't garbage. We know that. <laughs> I think uh, Feck 00 is going to be gone here. Let's see. Um, they are gone. Okay. Uh, let's go over to the 1K. We get an open from Vojtech to 2.3 blinds. I think we're going to call with 7.8. And take it to the streets where we flop. The bottom gutter, which is pretty uncomfortable, to be honest. It's a very uncomfortable spot to be in here. I think with the 8 of hearts, we'll continue. I don't hate just folding if we don't have the backdoor heart. Um... Especially two undercards, but I think with the eight of hearts we'll continue. If they bail here on the turn, we're gonna fold. Uh, if it goes check check, we have to decide on the river if we want to bluff or not. Really easy to over bluff this spot because of all of the gut shots, straight draws, miss heart draws. Um, so I think we would probably bluff at some frequency with this hand. I'd probably just randomize it, you know, if it goes check check here. But they bet, then we fold, which is good, I think. Take it down with the ace-10 squeeze, and we win a small pot, 10s against ace-10 in the 320 super. Squeeze pot, we call the flop, check it down on a queen-7-6. And they squeeze out of the big blind, so pretty strong range, generally. All right, let me put out a tweet or an X. I don't know what that means. Uh, Okay. Ten nine suited a hand worth opening on the button, so we're going to Okay, I'm gonna put that out. Uh, 
Ace and seven, we're going to check back here with our jacks. I think it's a good idea. Check again on the turn. It's fine. Value bet the river against Thomas. And we win a pot. That feels good, man. Feels real good. Happy with that. All right. The tweet and the thread is out. Music's on, the Steak Kings is rolling. Vibes are high. Let's go, man. That flop, I know, right? The sixes versus tens, so sick. That's one way to start a stream, exactly. That's what we want to emulate today. That's what we want. Okay, 55 Masters, Super 215 in the 530. Great game all coming up in about 17 minutes from now. Uh, but we're off to a strong start. We're kind of chip, chipping up in the 320. Doubled up in the Super 55. Won a pot against a legend. Boge deck. It might be our moment today. Open up 6-7 suited. A nice hand. Definitely a very fun hand to play. Because it can make some really disguised things, you know. When you play big pots, yes, of course it's always possible that people have 6-7 suited, 7-8 suited, 8-9 suited kind of hands. But when the board is like 6-6 deuce against the big blind, you know, we only have like 5-6 suited and 6-7 suited in quad sixes. And that's like that's the only interaction, whereas they have a bunch of other stuff. So it's a pretty fun hand to play, especially in 3-bet pots like this, because it's like the only 6 you get to play in 3-bet pots, you know, except for maybe pocket 6s this deep. So it just, it can set up some really fun spots. This is an okay spot, right? Like this is the other side of this hand, which is we have the bottom open ender. So we have 8 outs to very likely win this hand, right? Uh, four tens, four fives. But there's a diamond draw, so it might be six outs. Plus the board is paired. You know, when they have nines or they have eights, uh, or they three with nine eights suited, we're in tough shape. You know, so these are the possible pitfalls, but you combine everything together, the, the very negative and the very positive. We're doing okay for now. It's a better flop than it could have been. So about at 5,600, I think we're just going to start with the call here and go to the turn. Turn is gin. Turn is the best possible turn. <laughs> it gives us the nut straight. And now we want to, I think, check raise here. Um, I don't want to give them the opportunity to check back on the river. I don't want them to have a hand like tens or jacks or queens and then just go check check on the end if the river is like an ace or a king. Um, so I want to check raise and force them to call off with all their over pairs, their tens plus, uh, and then either force them to call or fold with their diamond draws, which is, you know, a win. Either way, if they put in more money, it's a win for us because we're ahead. And if they fold, we pick up the whole pot, uh, which is also a win. Unless they were planning to bluff the river, which often people don't pull the trigger. So uh, we're all in. Good luck. Play and pray. How do you feel about it? Ah, uh, they fold. Okay. Hi from Germany, where the new basketball world champions are from. Lash82, congratulations to Germany and international basketball fans. That's so exciting for you guys. Uh, I haven't really followed international basketball, but I think there is an NBA game that's coming to Montreal uh, soon, and I, I want to go. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, there's a team that's professional basketball, but like a a small professional level 
low level uh, as we're going to get this in against Mr. Soprano, the East King. Um, that plays really close to us. So I went to one of the games last year and it was really fun. East King, East King. Diamonds. Chop it up, man. Chop it up. I'd love to play a variant of poker where I win this pot because I have the ace of diamonds and there's three diamonds, you know? Where it's just like when you have the same hand, it goes to suits and it's just pure gamble. That'd be kind of fun. Uh, Thomas opens. We have ace check off suit. I think it's a good call hand. I think it's a very strong hand, not a hand we want to three bet. Um, you know, we we value bet when we three bet against like ace 10 off suit, but they might even fold ace 10 off suit or a four bet it. In which case, like we're just putting in money against better aces. Plays well enough post flop they go for a bet of fifty six thousand. so this is two thirds makes it a fold on the flop if they bet one third we can't fold but uh, against two thirds we can je te suhat une belle journée de grande aujourd'hui uh okay so you something i don't know what sulhet is and good journey is like good good journey or good luck on the grind today okay I think I I think I've got some of that. Uh, merci beaucoup. Uh, pour uh, tout gentil <laughs> for your kindness, <laughs> gentilness. Uh, belle chance uh, aujourd'hui. Uh, et, et merci beaucoup. Um, I was doing some Duolingo before the stream today, actually. I got uh, Bureau, Vash, Vash is cow. Bureau is office. Uh, I think I'm up to like 380 or 390 words I got now. Um, it's going okay. I start French school on Monday with Rebecca. Just two days a week, we're going to a French class. They're three hours each class, I think. So six hours a week, and... Uh, and it's about two months, so I'm pretty excited, actually. I think it'll be really good and, and helpful to, you know, like, responding to this, I want to say uh, thanks for the kind words, appreciate you being here, and welcome to the stream, good luck today, right? And I've got, like, half the words I need um, to sort of make that happen, and I can sort of comprehend what you're saying to me. Uh, but I just need a li I need to fill in just a tiny bit more, I think. Uh, so bet call, what do we want to do here with the middle set? I think we want to raise. The thing is, like, people bluff at a very small frequency three ways at this stack depth, right? Uh, when they have a heart draw, they're not folding. When they have an ace, they're going to put us on a heart draw most of the time. Um, this is just a spot where we want to make sure we get the money in for a bounty here against a wide range of hands. Some of the hands were, like, they're crushed, right? Uh, one pair of ace, they're crushed. Um, a heart draw, they're doing okay, but like only 30% or so. So yeah, we raise here. If it goes bet folds, I think there's more of an argument for a call, but uh, not here. So good luck. Snap call, please have ace king. Ace king, ace king would be perfect. No hearts. <laughs> that would just be great. Flush draw, flush draw, tens full. That is a double bounty, dude. $150 of bounties and more than a triple stack. Excellent, excellent vibes. So we have a tricky one here against Vojtek. We three bet, they call. We're gonna see bet on the flop. It's not tricky now, but it can get tricky later on in this hand, right? In that we flop top, top, in a three bet pot, but they raise under the gun. So they still do have hands like Queens, Kings, Aces in the range, I'd say here. That can slow play at some frequency, especially under the gun. We bet they call, turns a seven. So do we have three streets of value with ace-jack? Probably not because of our positions at the table, right? Like, he's very strong. Um, so we can bet again here on the turn. How many sevens do they have? Seven, six suited and seven, eight suited and quad sevens and fives full and jacks full, uh, of which there's one combo. So we're doing quite well, but I like check on the turn. Allow Vojtek to bluff on the river sometimes here, in which case we can catch the bluff catch. And if they check, what do we want to do? I mean, I think value bet. What do we want to do against a check raise? 
by betting here. Like, if we bet here, we can get value from King Jack and Queen Jack if they don't bet themselves, but they bet 275. We're going to call. I think sometimes they have spades, sometimes they have over repairs, but like, each Jack is very top of our range. They have 8 9 suited. They made the straight on the river, which is so sad for us. Down a half stack. Um, yeah, I think it's okay, right? Like, I think this 8 9 suited is probably a fold in theory because it's dominated when it makes a straight sometimes. Like, not on this board, but. When it makes the straight on 10 jack queen, it gets stacked. Um, so it's like the worst suited connector, but it's fine. You know, it's like pretty close. There's antis, whatever. Um, and so, but on the flop, they're definitely going to continue on the turn. We kind of talked it through, and then the river's a 10. I like how we played this hand. Obviously, it didn't go well for us on half a million, but I think we played it fine. Okay, uh, quick break. You're watching Poker Tables on Twitch. I will be back in just a few minutes. Uh, I'm just going to grab some water, okay? Stay with me. We're back in action, and guess what we got? We've got the 5.30 PLO about to start right now. Um, which is going to be awesome. And we have aces in the grand. First hand back. Let's get those chips back we just lost, dude. Let's go. All right. All right, all right, all right. Oh, but the aces get three bet from Thomas Aaron. Man, stacks are awkward here because we can't really four bet fold, right? We'd have to make it like 168, which would leave us 300,000 back. It's just not a thing. So it's just going to be the four bet dunk. Hopefully they have a monster. Um, I don't really like flatting with the aces here, especially out of position. I think you just play aggressively pre. So go for it. Hopefully get back. Aces against tens. Keep it clean, Dottie, please. Yeah, okay. We're back in a million. Very fortunate. Uh, cooler. I think, you know, it's definitely profitable to get it in for 40 blinds with 10s here. Um, and fortunate for us that we are back to our start stack. So it's 215 super starts in two minutes as well. I'm just going to get that on table three because might as well get us up to a full six tables here. There we go. Open get a call from Paul, King 9-3. Uh, I don't mind going for a bet here with Jack-10. Well, you could check call too. I like check calling a little bit more when we have a club. Uh, we just bet they call, turns a king, check. Like Jack-10 suited, Queen-10 suited, Queen-Jack suited. Some frequency I'm going to bet here. Basically, are going to be my sort of bluff uh, C bets hands mostly. Uh, they bet half pot. We'll just fold next. Half pot here in the super. It's kind of close, honestly, but we'll call. Call one. Turn two pair. Let's lead small. If they raise, we probably just fold, honestly. We're crushed against higher two pairs, against flushes, against uh, sets. Uh, but we want to make sure that they continue with one pair of ace and with club draws. And we're going to bet again on the river. Try and get a call from those one pair hands. Um, and if they raise, again, we'll fold. Like, I think our hand is a value bet against a lot of stuff. But against a raise, they need to bluff a lot here for us to bluff catch, basically. Yorkshire Ace, friend of the stream. What's up, man? Good luck us in this thing. All right. So I'm not adding the 530 buy-in because we got in for 55 bucks the other day. Uh, so I'm not adding that to my buy-ins today that I'm keeping track of here. But... I'll add the 215. We got sub hype coming in big with all the B's and the G's. What's up, B? Thanks for the three month resub. Welcome back, big. Appreciate you. Um, let's play a little four ball here. How about you have a bluff here? It would be perfect. Because I have garbage, so. But you don't have a bluff. Open Jack 10 of the Grand. Get a call from Sergio, 10-5-3. I think we want to bet, especially given the stack size we're up against here. Uh, yeah, we bet small. 
It's probably not a three streets of value unless the runout's really good. It's tough to get a worse hand to call by betting flop turn or river. Maybe a few hands, but then we're going to be betting into some better hands too, like queen 10, like king 10, like ace 10, right? Which are all uh, a thing, so. Open the sevens, and in the PLO, we are in action. Let's go, baby. 5.30 PLO, let's go. Hey, bro, happy Sunday. Hope you're good. Good today, as always. Thank you, King Kiraf. Go crush today. Just hit a royal and a qualifier to today's 109. Let's go. Congrats, man. Nice. Open sevens, Jonathan, three bets. We call and we flop a set. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Uh, do we check raise out of position here? I think so. I think there's so many hands that we can choose to check raise. Sevens and sixes and nines are obvious. Uh, but I think we can also check raise a hand like 6-5 suited. We can also check raise a heart heart. We can also check raise a 10x, right? Uh, so we have a lot of check raise hands, and it puts over pairs in a really brutal, terrible spot. So, yeah, we're just going to check raise to 250. Maybe 260. And they fold. Good fold, good fold. All right, take it down. In the PLO, we open this hand. We're going to see bet here as well with our open ender. Get check raised to 114. We call. Just hit the nuts on the turn. No, it's not the nuts. We have a whole lot of nothing. We have a pair of sevens here, chat. Do you want to bluff though? Probably, right? Like this is now a spot where, if this is working like it is in Hold'em, when they check raise flop, they've got us to fold a bunch of stuff, right? And now what's left is like a stronger range than we should have in the spot, in which case um, they're gonna like fold here a decent amount. I'm just gonna give up on the bluff here on the river though. I think our hand kind of sucks. They have ace nine two pair, probably would have called down. And uh, yeah, I'm okay with all of that. Let's go to the ace queen. What's up, Balut? Someone in Matt's channel said you were not a real person, but an AI bot, it was me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I'm real. I'm definitely real in my mind. And I couldn't tell you if I was real in yours. And, uh, you know, what does real mean in the first place anyways, man? Okay. What are we talking about here? Like, isn't just existing in an AI world just a different uh, version of reality? As if the reality we're in right now is like some, you know, based, base reality. Like, nah, don't think so. I think it's all subjective and relative and, uh, and AI is likely just an extension of our own consciousness anyways, collectively. So whatever, dude, I mean, uh, I'm not worried about it. I do think that AI will take over. Uh, our sort of cognitive processes at some point. But I also think that's not a problem in that if we can instill the things that we think of as human values and human ideas and consciousness and uh, survival into them uh, and into it, the collective it, because it's just an extension of us collectively, uh, then, uh, you know, then what's the, what's the deal? We continue in a different form. It's all right. Is it too thin to bet here on the river? Probably, especially three ways, right? It's just too much. Uh, they pulled, they call. Okay, so, you know, we ha we see a perfect scenario where we win there, but we can lose some as well, for sure. Uh, King eight's going to be a full. Like, it just seems like AI is the next iteration of evolution, and it's just happening exponentially faster than previous evolution because of because uh, that's how it works you know because things progress exponentially and 
we collectively and our thoughts and our minds and the iteration of us is just evolving, you know, like living digitally as opposed to uh, biologically. If we remove ourselves from like the experience of what it feels like to be human, we just think about it rationally. Existing digitally is so much better than biologically, right? Like biologically you have, uh, I'm just going to flat here with Jax actually. You can die biologically, right? Like you have fatal flaws that when you get stabbed walking down the street, you end. You know, uh, digitally that doesn't happen. You can persist and exist into the future as long as you would like. Um, and there's like perfect paper trails, whereas in, you know, humanity is biological, so it decomposes and like, you know, all of this stuff is like clearly much better digitally. Um, and so if you could get what you think of as the brain or some people think of as the soul, which, you know, I don't really believe in, but, um, if you can get what feels, what it feels like to be human into something digital it's just an improvement it's an iteration it's an evolution of of our form so i think that's what we're seeing and i don't think people are having that conversation yet really you know i think they're they're talking as if this is some other thing and it's just like no no, no. like these are all like this is just us you know and and our programming and our ideas like put into a thing that's doing work for us you know uh it's not like it's not like otherworldly, us first them or anything like that. I, I don't think that makes sense, personally. Um, anyways, Familia, we're up to 156,000, which is quite nice. I'll say that. 1.2 million. We have over triple stack with two bounties for 150 bucks, chip leading the 320, which is nice as well. Sand doesn't play well multiway, though. We'll just fold there. And fold on the river. In the PLO. This is Party Poker, Cereal Milk. We're playing on Party Poker today. What's up and welcome. If you're in a place around the world that can play on Party Poker, check it out. Join us in the streets. Um, damn, Sebastian. Damn, dude. Who's better at poker, AI staples or real staples? I mean, AI would will certainly surpass our poker abilities uh, quickly. Its ability to keep information is already extremely better. Uh, it's not better at exploiting and or understanding human beings, but like, you know, you can just like pure play GTO and uh, crush. So, you know, long tail, of course, computers are gonna beat us. Uh, shorthanded, I think that computers can play like GTO strategy better than we can, obviously. I don't think that's surprising to anyone. However, if you put a computer or one of the best human being poker players in a lineup against human beings where they can know things about their opponents, I think a human player could win more than the computer player. It doesn't mean they're, well, I guess it does mean they're better um, in a sense. But that presumes that the human being will be able to uh, glean some information about their opponents and know how to exploit that through a strategy. So it's got to be quite high level, you know, like I'm talking high roller players here. But I think they could win more than a computer if you put them in a lineup of human beings. Uh, they have to be great, though. You know, I'm, t I'm saying like great, great, like the high rollers, dude. So, yeah. That's, that's, I think, where we're at. Good enough hand to play. I remember reading in a PLO book. Uh, this, is, this doesn't apply to tournaments, but in cash games, like if you have a suited ace cut off or later, you can just raise. And so that's a rule of thumb I've generally used in terms of picking hands. 
suited ace in the cutoff or better is fine. That doesn't mean you can play it against an open. Uh, but if it folds to you in the cutoff or better, you can play. People from Canada and Yorkshire are all unreal. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess so. In Balud's world, seems to be true. We're going to fold the king nine. I'm gonna go for the really small bet here with Ace Jack. It's not uh... obviously we don't hit the board super hard, but it's a dry enough board where I think we just want a range bet. So that's what I'm gonna do. When I say range bet, I mean every hand that we raise in the spot. I'm just gonna continuation bet. Turns out eight of diamonds. Uh, check check. It's fine. We pick up the flush draw. We river a jack, which is good. Probably the best hand. They can have some kings, but I also think they're going to have some 6x, some deuce x, and some random stuff. They check in the river, and I'm going to go for a value bet. I do think I had the best hand, so I'm just going to bet here. And try and get a call from a 6 or a deuce or a, an ace high or something like that. And and uh, Or maybe they river to jack is also possible. A queen jack, a jack 10, jack 9, something like that. Uh, they just fold on the end. It's fine. And we roll on. In some good spots, honestly. Some really good stacks. Um, kind of getting on, like, talking about the AI stuff that we were talking about. There's... There's a discussion that I had in university, and it, it was like, you know, I was in university maybe 12 years ago for a short time. Um, and you hear it discussed every once in a while, but I always find it so interesting, right? Like such an interesting idea in, in terms of what it means for uh, ethics, what it means for like governance and society. Um, and so there's research that comes out of neuroscience talking about how Human beings, you know, the brain has sort of decided before you can actually conceive what's happening. There's neurons in the body that have already put in place an action before you even know. So this like idea of choice when it comes to some things is not actually a, a choice. It is just happening for you. And it feels like we're making a choice, right? Because we think about it and, and we rationalize, we intellectualize, whatever. But like the body has already decided through the neurons what is happening. And so it's a determinist worldview is like the determinism is sort of the philosophical idea, but then also scientifically, like what you're going to do is determined uh, to some extent. So we see a lead of half pot and a call here on a very dry board. Like there can be some wrap kind of stuff. I think we call here and then hope for a good turn, but what are the good turns? Um, like king is obviously a good turn. Jack is not. Eight is not. Uh, seven is not. Six and five are fine. Three and deuce are fine. Maybe we just fold here. I don't know. Like that might be crazy. Like I said, I'm I'm not a PLO pro, uh, so I'm just gonna fold and assume that's probably theoretically like a little too tight, but in practice, fine against a lead in a call. Go with that. Um, yeah, so anyways, like this idea that we're going to do what we're going to do whether we whether it's a choice or not and it's sort of predetermined, not determined like by a superior being or anything like that, but that essentially like physics and and math and biology determine our actions and who we are. Um and we don't have any control over that. And so you know, whether whether that whether that's supremely true or not, doesn't matter, but let's just pretend that it is true. Uh, what does that mean about like uh, justice or about ethics, right? Like when people are making decisions that are 
deemed extremely unethical in society. And what does that mean about the way that we uh, punish them and or judge them and or attempt to reform them for society? Uh, you know, if someone murders in a place where there's capital punishment, uh, did they really have choice? And if they didn't have choice, does then it warrant uh, capital punishment, right? Like, these, these are, they're just really interesting ideas, I think, you know. Um, and I think it necessitates shifting your idea of, of justice and, and sort of like prison to people are sentenced to be reformed and or to go to prison to protect the rest of society as a necessary evil, not because of uh, vengeance or, or some sense of like, because they deserve it, because no one deserves it, but it's in fact the lesser of two evils, which is like your existence comes at the cost to the rest of us. And that's not reasonable. And so it sucks that you've been dealt this card, but like we need to protect ourselves, you know? Uh, so it's it's like a shifting of perspective on why it is that we do that. Um, I don't know. That's all super interesting. I really like it. Uh, open 3 bit to 5600 of flat here from Fruit Boy. We are so deep. We're 200 blinds deep. Uh, I really hate... If I 4-bet and they jam, I hate it because I think they have aces. But what are you going to do with kings? I think we just want to 4-bet here. I don't think there's any way out. Especially when this player flats, right? Like, I don't think this is aces for a million years. They're going to four-bit aces. Raise your ace can have aces, but they can also have kings. They can have queens. They can have jacks. They can have tens. They can have ace-king. They can have ace-queen. They can have hands like king-queen suited, king-jack suited, king-ten suited, queen-jack suited, queen-ten suited, jack-ten suited. All sorts of stuff, right? Uh, so we four-bit they call. Ace-high board, I think we want to go for a really small bet here. Uh, obviously, a not, a, not a good board for our hand. But in a four bet pot, ace high board, I think we need to continue, right? We are basically what hands miss here? Kings and jacks. And jacks probably just flat, honestly. So everything else hits. Ace king, ace queen, ace five suited bluff, like all of it hits. Aces, queens. So yeah, we see bet, we take it down 197, that's good. The king, queen suited, we raise. We got sub hype coming in. Shakespeare's mother with a good luck of luck. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate you. Hearts up in chat. Thank you for that Risa, brother. We are gonna call because we're suited. If we weren't suited, we would fold. I think we need to call with king, queen suited. Uh, what do we do with king, jack suited and queen, jack suited? But anyways, we call, we go to a flop. Good, it's a good flop. We still have to have our guard up here, right? It's a three bet pot. They raise onto the gun plus one. So they have aces, they have kings in their range. But they also have a bunch of hands we, we beat. So why am I like mentioning this? Because this is this becomes a tough hand on the river, right? And sort of tough on the turn. The bet half pot we call. You know, not now, but later on in the hand, we need them to have bluffs here. Ah, oh, it's this is uh, yeah, it's hard. The bet one fifty five. I think very clearly we continue here for the sizing. I don't think check raising makes any sense. I think we're just gonna call. Uh, we just have to decide on the river if they have enough bluffs again to uh, profitably sort of call down. Uh, the problem in this spot is that they're going to have ace-queen offsuit at some frequency, the three bets here, uh, and suited, and they could probably value that. So I think it's a fold on the end, especially when the club's complete, I think, obviously. But even if this was like a six of diamonds, it's probably a fold to the, to the river bet. This is why this hand is tough. And this is why on the flop, I'm saying like, oh man, People will sometimes in my videos say, like, why are you saying, oh, man, like, you flop top pair? Like, why are you going to be, you know, if you're going to feel that way about it on the flop, why not just full pre-flop? It's like, no, 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 I'm not feeling about that now on the flop, you know. I'm projecting into the future as to when this hand gets difficult, right? It's not difficult when they bet the flop, we call, and it goes check, check on the turn, and we, you know, block better, check the river, and they check. Like, that's not difficult, right? It's that, you know, the 20% of the time, they're going to put us in the cage with the barrel, barrel, barrel with the bet, 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 and we're gonna be facing a spot where we're risking our tournament life where they need to have bluffs, right? Like that's, that's a tough part. The demons made me do it, word, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Read neuroscience. Uh, 
Right. Uh, Mr. Staples, are you going to play the 10K tonight? No, I am not, my friend. If it was on Party Poker, probably. You know, I would take a shot at something like that, but... Um, not not today, man. We, Our big stuff is the 1K Grand and the 530 PLO uh, today on Party Poker, so playing those, basically. Are you playing the 10K? The great old... Check on the flop with a six turn. Pick up a gutter. It's a rainbow seven. Uh, they made half pot. It's kind of close here. Ace six, ace five are the best ace highs to continue with here because they have equity. Uh, I think we should peel again. Blind versus blind, right? I would never peel this like under the gun versus the big blind or something, right? But the fact that our ranges are so wide, we want to continue with some ace highs. I think ace six, ace five are the ones. Fold of the river bet, I think is fine. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of better hands to call with on the river. Uh, basically hands that don't have a five or a six that have a pair, essentially. Um, yeah, the eight completes nine, 10 as well, etc. So we're back to a half, half stack. Back to a half stack here. We are swinging around the grand. But in a great spot in the 320, chipped up in the 250, and chipped up in the 109. Things are good. Well, Queen Jack checking the flop. You know what we got cooking today, chat? A chili. We have a chili. For the first time in such a long time, I've got a chili bacon upstairs in the slow cooker. It'll be cooking all day. Another six, seven hours. I really look forward to having some today. Uh, I think a little too wide with Jack-10 offsuit here. This is a great flop, though. Got some crushed tomatoes, some tomato sauce, some tomato paste, some ground beef. Some onions, salt, pepper, garlic salt, um, and some pinto beans. It's going to be great. I think you guys are talking about the uh, the king queen spot on the queen high board. Problem with that again is our our position at the table. So it was a raise under the gun and then a three bet under the gun one, which are very narrow ranges, right? Like they're just not very wide. If we're never folding king queen there, if it's like button versus small blind or button versus big blind or cutoff versus button, like we're we're always calling down with the king queen in that spot. Um, but in those two positions, my opening range is pretty tight. Their three betting range is pretty tight. Uh, in which case, it's just not going to... We're dealing with a, f a pretty narrow range. So, Bro, did you follow my tag team dad journey or what? I saw the, the stories on the IG, bro. You're out, GG. Uh, thanks for trying, though. <laughs> 
Tremendo days. That's cool, man. Tag team uh, would be fun. When are you getting up here, Tremendo? When are you coming to Montreal, man? Open three bet from Saks. Again, I think it's a call here. This is even a smaller three bet. King Queen suited. Slightly better positions here. We're under the gun plus one against the cutoff. Uh, so we call King Queen suited. We fold King Queen off suit. Flop comes down East Jack five. It is a check raise moment. Great spot to get uh, some pairs to fold, right? Like, if we can get a pair to fold by check raising, good. Uh, we have plenty of equity against everything that isn't uh, like a set of jacks, basically. <laughs> So yeah, they've been 79,000. The check raise and good luck us. With a monster draw. Let's see these percentages here, Jonathan. Let's get a call by uh, Queens, by the way. Be good. The Queens call. Take it down, 718,000, okay, moving on, folds. Uh, I think three betting, queen eight suited. Uh, I don't like it as much with this player. It's close. Uh, you could also flat two, but I think when we three bet, we're sometimes going to have to get it in with the hand here. And then also they're raising with this player behind. I'm glad I didn't because they had aces. That's good news. Uh, let's raise up the queens in the 320 as the chip leader with two bounties so far. Having a grand old time. And this is just a dream come true, honestly. Uh, second set on a three-way board, ace-high board. So, so often we're going to have our opponents have a pair of aces here, which we can get value from, uh, which is great. I don't think we want to go for the big bet here. In a three-way pot like this, it's so rare that you would choose a big bet size. We don't want to scare away our opponents when they have a hand like ace-eight. We'd rather try and get three streets of value. And if they have a monster, you know, if they have sixes, they have ace-six. If they have like a strong ace, they might put in a raise themselves. So let's just go for a bet of 2200 here and then plan to go for some bigger stuff later on in the hand. Clop the cop folds. They both fold. I guess they didn't have an ace or a six. Chili hype, it's true. That's the, that's the truth. We used to have an emote that was Stap Chili. Uh, some of you will remember it that are here because I used to have chili all the time at lunch uh, back in the early grinding days, basically. So yeah, it's been a long time. Take it down. Andy Math, 99, drop of the sub hype. Can we get some love of the chat for the man? Andy Math, 38 months. Thank you, dude. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, nice, Avazi. That sounds really nice. Sounds beautiful. I believe it. I mean, peanut butter, uh, nuts are beautiful, fatty, good flavor. I get it. I'm with it. Uh, e6, we have to fold to the jam here. The king 10, we go for the small bet. They lead on the turn. We just fold. It's fine. The nines, raise three bet. I think we can cold call the nines, which we're not going to do with that many hands, but I think nines, tens, jacks are... Fine candidates, ace queen suited also. Ooh, nice. Mike with the chili as well. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. 
Enjoy it, man. That's going to be my Sunday night vibe. Break videos today. Have the Alouettes hat on today as well. So let's go. We flopped top set. Wow. Are we hitting a lot of big hands today? It's Jay Bradley here. I think we call here with the nuts suit, three broadways. Uh, and now what do we do? <laughs> All right, we have half pot. I don't know, I guess we get it in, right? Three ways, probably, for half pot. A6, do three, we're actually, we're ahead, but they made the straight of the turn. Rip, dude, GG. The PO low is not for us. Oh, we actually have uh, two blinds left. Here we have the nuts. I guess quad sevens is the nuts, but, and then five, six of diamonds. Five, six of diamonds, then quad sevens, then uh, nines full. So the third nuts, but you know what? It's a damn good hand. All the money's going in. All the money is going in. I'd put in about four raises, you know? So there we go. In the 215 Super, we get our first bounty for $50. We've chipped up nicely. Chip leading, 452. This is the only one we've got about two thirds of a stack. Here we're basically dead, but you know. Such is life, onwards. We're gonna go for this one, good luck. We're also going to raise Queen Jack suited. And we go four ways to the flop. A little surprising for sure. Uh, it's pretty wide, but I think. Clearly start with a check here with second pair and uh, and a gut shot. Okay, good card for our range, not good for our hand. We could say, hey, I have uh, aces, kings, queens. Muhammad's not super deep. It's not a bad spot to tell that story, honestly, with the jack blocker, but uh, I don't think our opponent's deep enough to want to do that, so... I'm just going to fold here. It's not a bad spot to be creative, though. If if they have a million chips, we have a million chips, we can, like, really mess with them a bit. Because this flat in the small blind, best it can be is ace-queen, honestly. It's not ace-king. It's not aces, kings, queens. So they're going to struggle if we were to, like, you know, they bet turn, we call. They bet river, we jam for a million, you know? All right, we're dead here. Uh, we are out. GG. Trip aces, uh, win an, or trip eights, win a nice pot there. Piolo is busto. Um, the Sunday party is coming up in 25 minutes, so I'll probably just leave that for table two. Leave it for the Sunday party in a second. Another king queen suit today. I don't like jamming. I think it's bad. Uh, I think we just call. Not deep enough to squeeze, less than all in either, so it'll just call. I think if we're going to jam, we jam uh, queen 10 suited, for example. Do we want to bluff here? No. No, we don't.
King nine off suit. We get a raise from flop turn FFS. Uh, yeah. Okay, peel in the big blind, but now it's a fold because it doesn't do as well multi-way. Against two and a half blinds, I think we just fold. Move on. Ace eight is going to be fold here as well. Is this still the first buy in the grand? Yep, first one. Good, good luck today. Thank you, Fugan Awesome. Thanks, bro. PLO is unfortunately dead, but you know. Just checking in, iRacer9. What's going on? Welcome to the stream. We've got some very good stacks in a few tournaments. Uh, about 60% of stack of the grand here, but four stacks in the 320 with 150 in bounties. Two stacks in the 215, two stacks in the 55. So yeah, things are good, man. Beautiful Sunday afternoon. Mm, bold. Even with the bounty, I think we got a fold there. And we can raise queen 10 if it goes fold, fold here. But if anyone else plays, we got to get out of the way. Nice. We raise. Okay, we go for the small bet. We get check raise from Jonathan Sachs on queen seven four. We can be in tough shape against uh, king queen and against queen jack uh, and against sevens and against fours. Probably queen seven food suited is folding pre flop, I think. So it's representing a pretty narrow range when you think about that, right? It goes bet, uh, raise, re raise, though, which this is a good attack because, like, what? kind of is this uh but i think we should fold our queen 10 you know this can be whatever and then this can be uh it can be like enough flush draw kind of stuff but it can also be strong hands too we have to fold our queen 10 it's not enough three ways although we're definitely ahead of one of these two for sure <laughs> we're ahead of one of them and we're willing to play our hand for stacks against jonathan i think um but it's okay. Wow. Interesting. Four in the turn. Removes two combos. So now quad fours, sevens full. King, queen, queen, jack, and flush draws. Uh, five, six suited. Very relevant for both players. Eight, six suited. Relevant here for the big blind. Um, yeah.
Uh, I think we have to fold the threes. Not profitable on 24 blinds to play. Raise call, squeeze gem. $75 bounty is nice. Is it nice enough to gamble here? Probably not. It's a half stack, so we need less equity for sure, but king nine is bad. You know, it's a bad end, so. Ace, queen, ace, king. Ace, queen hits it. The laughs come out. I mean, ace, queen's got a call, of course. You know, it's not folding. I was called with king nine, dude. Ace, queen is in there. Uh, we were deep with anti Z. I don't know if it was the 320 or the 1K last week. Or was it the 109? Might have been the 109. The Sunday party. I'm not sure. Raise up your screen. Get a call from Muhammad, uh, king, queen, five in the flop. I think we small bet here. I think we want to bet on this board often against a big blind call. It definitely gets awkward against a check raise, but um, their check raising range is going to be kind of narrow. So we're going to be okay to bet and then call a check raise and then play from there. Queen eight suited on the edge. I think with our stack utility, we have to fold. If we are on a full stack, we're obviously going to raise. But uh, we are kind of short, so we'll stay out of the way there. Call it queen eight, check. Sylvan Chavez uh, is all in for five blinds. Just five. We fold, thankfully. I think we would have had to call off there with King Deuce. Didn't really want to. Flush set. Flush holds. Okay. Almost at the guarantee already, by the way. 36 entered, so predictably uh, with the big online... Uh, schedule at the moment, things are bigger. I wish we had the Super 530 this week for that reason. Uh, but it is unfortunately not in the schedule at the moment. Heading Andre opens, we get a flat. This is a jam all day. We love it. It's gorgeous. It's a special moment. Um, this is our way back into the tournament, really, on the stack. So let's see. They will fold, okay, 645, that's fine. It's not what we want, but it's fine. Limp, we raise, they call, flop is 1086, check, check, with king, queen, no backdoor clubs. I think when we bluff here, we wanna have uh, diamonds. Like when they bet, what should we raise with? It should be diamonds, uh, in which case we just fold. We bet King Crab and also open Ace Deuce on the button in the grand. Cruise in the 109 started the $3 phase. Hope to see in the final table, bro. Let's get it, King 3 off. Let's go, man. Final table last week. I'm looking to improve on it, though. Looking to improve on it for sure. Four bet from eggs. Uh, I think we have to fold. It's too big as well. Not deep enough.
Uh, I guess we can bet here. It's kind of deny equity, right? Get them to fold a hand like ace 10 would be great, whether whether they do that or not, I'm not sure. Or king seven or king six or, uh, you know, queen six, something like that. Getting it to fold is a big victory. We do just bet money into an eight or into a jack. But if we check back, we have to fade probably two cards coming. Um, and sometimes get bluffed, right? Where they just bet the turn with a, with a semi-draw and we don't have enough to call. So I think we'll just bet for that reason. And it worked out okay, which is good. We won it, so that's great. I think I'm going to go for quite a small bet here. We have aces and fives with the queen kicker. We want them to call with a queen, like, or three, or king high or something. So um, if our kicker played, we could go for a bigger bet. It doesn't, so try and keep their range quite wide, I think. Excuse me. It's my sister's birthday today. Happy birthday, Amy. Rip Super 530. Yeah, for now. Hopefully it'll come back. This week would have been the week it did the best out of anything, I think. But, uh, you know, it's all right. Hopefully the 1K grand gets to 50K today. Would be awesome. Um, and then we can hopefully start to raise some guarantees and stuff. All right, we're going on a five minute break after this hand. Look, Queen Six, we are on 700K in the grand. We have four stacks and two bounties in the Super 320, excellent Stark. Double stack and a bounty in the 215, double stack in the 55, chipped up one and a half stacks in the 109. And we're about to start in uh, the 109 Super, I think, yeah. So that's what's up, action in progress. Thank you all so much for being here. Enjoy five minutes of highlights. Poker Staples on Twitch and I'll be right back. Yo, yo, legends. What's up? We have a7 suited under the gun. In the grand, we raise. Seven-handed, though, so... It's under the gun-ish. You know what I mean? Raise, get a call from C. Jensen. Call from Connor uh, Bar Baron. Baron? Uh, reminds me of Connor Beresford, but... He's not Irish. And we go five ways to the flop, which is always fun. We check fold. <laughs> A7, it's not enough. I'll tell you that. It's not enough, chat. Check. Two's here. We can probably play on the button. King 10 suited, we can almost definitely play. It's true. We're close to 100K on YouTube. It is true. 
Any reason you're not playing any other sites than Party Poker anymore? I can. I can today. I just started a little bit late, slept in a bit. Um, tomorrow I got French school as well. So the day two is on Monday. I'll definitely do it for the 109 Sunday party, but... Um, But I don't want to make some like sort of minor day twos that prevents me of going to like my first French school day. I'm totally down to miss other French school. I think it starts at like six or seven p.m. So most of the time it won't be an issue anyways. Um, of like making day twos and, and going. But I guess it's like I don't really want to miss the first one if I can avoid it, unless I make day two of the 109 Sunday party. And yeah, I don't know, man. It's like. Uh, I don't really get FOMO with online poker anymore. Uh, I've been playing for uh, about 12 years now. So I've seen big series and big events come around literally hundreds of times, right? Like um, in, in my online poker history, there's been probably like 700 Sunday Millions, you know? So it's like, it, they're not rare uh, and and they're often. So if I miss one, it's not like, oh shoot, I really should have done that. It's like there's another one next week. There's another one next month. There's a, there's just more and more and more and more. So I prioritize myself a little bit more. And then also I want to be a good teammate for Party Poker and our story and our site and our player base. And so I just think about it. Sometimes it's like our time to shine, right? It's our time to showcase what we can do. And on Sundays where there isn't big series going on, like we've made some deep runs in the grand. And those are really exciting. They get a decent amount of viewers and people find out about, you know, our Sunday schedule. Uh and then sometimes, like the opening weekend of WCOOP, it's like not really our time to shine, right? It's just like, it's not Party Poker story today. We still have great stuff going on, you know, and some people will find out about the site for the first time, but like we don't get the stage today and that's okay. Like that's, you know, that's not, uh, the end of the day, we're all uh, poker companies trying to grow our respective poker sites, but at the end of the day, we're growing poker as well. And so... Sometimes you get the spotlight and sometimes you don't, and uh, it's not a big deal, you know. Um, but I can play on other sites, right? Like, there's nothing preventing me from loading up uh, a bunch of stars and playing a bunch of WCOOP. Um, that's an option. Or, or one of the other series, OSS or the WCP Rings or whatever. Uh, that's all possible. It's all possible to do. It just feels like... Uh, sometimes those representatives of those sites, it's like their, you know, it's kind of their moment. It's their spotlight, their time to shine. And that's okay. You know, I'm here. I'm here. I'm doing my thing. Uh, so are the check on Ace-Ace-9 or like a small bet here? I'm just going to small value bet. You could definitely check all two, but take it down. I'm gonna go for a really small bet with King 10. I could also check back, take the free card, but I'm just gonna try and get some hands that have some equity to fold here. I probably would get a few worse hands to fold, like fives and fours and threes and twos. Probably fold to this small bet on a flop, I think. In which case we're checking the turn. And we're folding to a river bet, unless it's like 6,000 or something, in which case I think it is probably one of those middle pairs. But uh, or Jack Ten possibly. But if it's like, you know, thirty five percent or higher, I think it's a fold. Small bet. Oh, we got to get in the 109 here too. Forgot. There we go. Into the 109 Sunday party. 
This is the one day two I'd be down with, dude. I'd be down with it. I think we call here, but like really kind of don't want to. Uh, I think we need to call one and then probably fold to the big river bet here. Um, yeah. They have more tens than we do. They're going to have some missed hearts uh, and some backdoor missed spades. We do have the ace of hearts in our hand. Not that that hand would lead anyways, but you get what I mean. I think it's okay to fold. Well played by our opponents. Either way, whether they had the tens or they bluffed us, uh, I think it's a, a good action there. So... We should bet here, actually. And we should bet larger. Bet on the larger side, chat. Whoa. Quick back, I say no. Raise of king four suited again in the 320. There we go. Got the Sunday party in action. Heard the weather has been good in the UK. I've heard that as well from your mother who was just visiting us, Rebecca. I think uh, Montreal's turning back to sort of like more typical fall at the moment. Still got some 22, 23 and sunny on the, uh, the forecast here, but But it's 18 and light rain today. We got 22 and cloudy on Tuesday, 23 and sunny on Monday, 21 and thunderstorms on Wednesday. So yeah, it's changing a little bit. And I don't mind the fall weather, actually. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it this year, which is, is new for me because I used to really hate fall. It was uh, one of the worst seasons. And uh, my mind is changing a little bit. I kind of like it, actually, now. Kind of enjoying it. King 8, 7. Ooh. There's going to be some betting here with this hand. Um, when I see this sort of flop, I'm just like, damn, they're going to have these connected sort of hands, like 9, 10, Jack 9, Jack 10. Uh, 10, 6, 9, 6, 6, 5, 6, 4. Like all this stuff sort of hits. Uh, but then when you look at the spots, when you sort of like look at a, a solver on this spot, like yes, there's going to be some checking, but you still have to bet some. And it's really easy to forget that you still have to bet some in theory. So that's the reason I bet because it's just like so easy to undersee that. Like, oh, bad board, I'm going to check back all the time. It's like... Uh, Sometimes you got to bet, so we're going to bet. But I recognize that like that's a board that is not for us, really. It's not a great board for us. Ace-3 suited, Sebastian opens. I think jam is the way. 21 blinds here. I'm trying to think about any alternative options. Like You could 3-bet less than all in here, too, uh, which you're going to want to do with some hands. But I think jam is best. It definitely makes money jamming. It's just like range composition. I don't think flatting is right. Um, we can get our opponent to fold ace eight, ace seven, ace six, ace five, ace four offsuit, which is a big win with ace three. You know, uh, they're they're gonna call with ace nine suited for sure. Uh, I think they're gonna call with ace eight suited as well. But we hit the three, which is great. Um, I think they're gonna call ace eight suited, ace nine offsuit plus in that spot, um, and then king queen offsuit, king queen suited, etc. Uh, but we get there, which is good. Very fortunate for us, Dottie. Open aces, get a call. Queen, eight, seven. Uh, bet two thirds here, just over half pot.
Um, the question is, do we want to bet one third with the sand or do we want to bet two thirds? I actually kind of like one third better. I think we should bet two thirds with kings. Okay, uh, we're priced in here, ace-10 against ace-jack. We need a king or an eight, okay. And we're gonna check the turn. I think obviously this is a terrible turn card. We still beat some stuff, but we don't have three streets of value against an eight X or a seven. Uh, and they check. Go half pot and then decide if we can call the check raise. Our, our line doesn't make a lot of sense, but they probably have an eight or a seven basically at this point. Um, I would have, like I expect a heavy bluff frequency on the river there too, but it's okay. Well, for deuce. PGD in the building. What's up, man? Hello. Hello, PGD. Oh, we got to take the cover off this. There we go. And an awkward one against Miss Your Ice. The worst turn. Uh, I'm going to see bet. Three ways here. One third. Get a call from Double Black. Queen on the turn. I think I'm going to go one third again. I do want to get a lot of value from our hand, but when I think about what their calling range is going to look like when we go two thirds and two thirds, it's going to be very narrow. Uh, I think by betting one third, we allow them to continue with every jack, also allow them to have some bluffs, uh, allow them to check raise with worse queens, which they're going to do. So I like going for the small size there just because I think their continuing range is going to work out better for us. King, queen, all in against tens. That's a king. We love it. 121,000. We dream of it. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls hit kings on the turn. Uh, pretty protected here when it goes check, 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 check. And then rivers seven. Uh, I think we... I think we bet 112. The, th the thing is, like, I do expect nines and tens and jacks, sometimes the three bet pre, especially jacks. But if they don't, I would definitely expect them to bet sometimes on the turn. So we're looking at maybe half frequency nines and tens, like quarter frequency jacks, uh, or one sixth frequency even. So very few hands that beat us there. We go for the bets, two thirds, they just fold, we move on, we pick up jacks. And we were just talking about. And uh, feeling good, man. All right. Chipping up in El Grande. Uh, Le Grand. I wonder if Grand is masculine or feminine. <laughs> I don't know. Le Grand. Uh, Le Grand Magnifique. Le Magnifique Grand. Something like that. Uh, le incroyable grand. Uh, queen six fold. Yeah, especially three ways. Just doesn't do well enough. The offsuit. We'd call queen six suited. Raise up a six suited. You're on the wrong table. I watched the live hand viewer. Oh, sorry about that, guys. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Uh, raise. Get a call. King jack five. Small bets.
Too thin. Check. Beat ace 10. It's fine. Like, we probably win, but we just can't get a value bet out of uh, hands there. Queen 6 is going to be a fold in our chipped up stack. Super gas to have a chipped up stack in the grand. We've been short twice. And we've just done it. We're back. Oh, my phone is almost dead. I've got to plug it in. Man, I did um, I did a little 10-minute workout thing on Apple Fitness Plus. So our family has this subscription to basically all the Apple services. So everyone in your family can be part of the subscription. And you get like magazines or like Apple News Plus, plus magazine. You get fitness. You get uh, Apple TV. Um, some storage. Basically, you just get all the services that they provide for like a family price of not that much. Um so anyways, I did one of these fitness things yesterday, and man, I'm really sore today. It was only 10 minutes, but it was pretty intense. It was like running in the spot, and then there were some lunges with shoulder presses, and then there was back rows, and then there was push-ups, and there was two circuits of each. And uh, yeah, it was really intense. I'm feeling it today, and like the arms. Lats, I guess, over here. Uh, check three ways. Jimmy, good luck today. Muggy, what's up, brother? Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. It's the moment. We get it done. It is the moment that it happens for us here, brother. Really awkward against Sebastian. I think I'll three bet fold here with ace 10. I don't really want to flat with three players behind. They're 21 blinds deep. So we'll just three bet fold. And while we wait, we're all in with ace king against the small blind. There's 21 blinds and a bouncy on their head. So let's see. 1875 in play. Our ace 10 gets through. There we go. Three bet works out. Ace king against fours. We're flipping it up for two stacks and a bounty. Spade or a six is what we needed for the chop, but no dice. On the shorter side of the Super 55. And folding A4 clubs. One and a half stacks, though. Really good. Open here. Can't jam. Don't like three betting, so let's call and lead on this flop. I'm going to lead pretty large as well because I think we would do that with actual strong hands wanting to get the bounty. So we're just going to do that with fours here. Typically, I'd lead a little bit smaller, I think. In a non-bounty, where different stacks, you know what I mean. King, queen suited. Three bet get called from Muggy. Is this Muggy W? I bet it is. 
I don't know for sure, but I bet it is. Uh, we see bet in the three bet pot on the A side board. Again, we don't love it with kings, but I think we see bet on the A side board. We shovel in here with king queen. We lose to ace jack here, 387. GG in the super 55. Check, check on the turn. Uh, 55 masters, yeah. Let's, oh no, I missed Reg by a minute. Dang it. All right, we're going to call Connor. Go to the river bet, especially with the king of diamonds, I think for sure. And start with a check on the flop. All right, so we're waiting on tables here. Let me let me move the super 215 down uh, just so that it doesn't screw stuff up. Just give me one second, chat. Here we go, Super 215 is now on table four. You can block bet here. I think I'm just gonna check call, I think. Bet in the flop call, check, check turn. There's so many draws we can have. Um, I think it's too thin to bet a uh, pair of tens there. Check call was the plan, probably. Finished Orlando from Virginia Woolf. That's one I haven't read. Um, that would be a great one to read. Historical fiction about gender roles. Halfway through the book, Orlando changes uh, from gender. I think you might like it. I would definitely like it. Yeah, 100%, man. Um, would love to read it. Yeah. You know, like I was just saying this to Rebecca last night. We went to like a film, Montreal International Film Festival sort of talk thing. Um and we were talking about like what we were reading, what we wanted to read, you know, sort of like little for fun goals in our head. Um, and I think a real big gap in my reading experience is I haven't read enough historical women. I've read a lot of like contemporary women, but um, Virginia Woolf, any of the Bronte sisters, um, and I always... Uh, I always forget her name for some reason, and I have two of her books on the shelf. Um, Jane Austen, right? I've, I've read Mary Shelley, Frankenstein, but I haven't read uh, Jane Austen at all. T Toni Morrison, that's a contemporary one, but uh, so yeah, it's like, I wanna read some Jane Austen, I wanna read some Bronte sisters. Um, probably the big, the big book next year will be Middlemarch. I think, and yeah, I would love to, to read Orlando as well. So that would be, uh, for sure, man, I'm there. And it's like, I wanna fill in that gap a little bit. I've read a lot of Japanese stuff. Um, and I, I wanna start filling in some of the historical women uh, books. One point six million. It's going well. We're chipping up in the grand. Kind of chipping up everywhere, to be honest. Tbh. Bro, what? On that card? On this board? I think we lose here to eggs. Yeah. Uh. But I feel like we might beat bundles because what is that small bet sizing on the turn actually meaning? So sick if it's nines and tens, but if it is, it's not betting 19,000 on the river. So I think we call here. It's just such a dry board. It's really hard to go one third, one third pot. So I think we call down. Eight's full. Makes sense, right? It's kind of weird. And when things are kind of weird, you will definitely see some like full houses, some nutted hands taking weird sizes. But then you'll see some air balls too. Uh, we lose, and it's not what we wanted. We'll put it that way. We'll five eight. Uh, writer very poetically, if I'm not mistaken, Orlando is a poet. Oh, cool! I didn't know that. I didn't know that. What are your fitness goals? Uh, I don't have anything in particular in terms of like um, like numerical benchmarks or anything like that, but. Uh, trying to increase just the amount of physical activity. So uh, a couple like strength training uh, sessions a week, three is 
what I'm going for. Uh, and then I've been walking every day for a while, uh, a couple weeks. So just try and get, and I define a walk like very, very thinly in that uh, anything more than across the street, <laughs> right? So I can go like, you know, it could be four minutes around the block and it's fine. Uh, or if I got to do go do an errand, that would count too. So, so yeah. That's what they are at the moment, man. I love this weather on the Sunday grind. Say bon, uh, say très bien, uh, say parfait. It allows us to focus for sure, man. Not me. Still can't plan a party for the Netherlands. See, I should have known that. That's true. We have to fold this multi-way. Yes, top pair, but when it goes bet raise, we're not doing well enough. Gets one opponent, yes. Two, no. Onwards. Yeah, like the reading, it's fun to make reading goals because they, they're they silly, they project into the future, and, you know, it's it's all just for you anyways, for fun. But definitely the, the next several things that I want to do are kind of mapped out, I would say. Uh, want to do Tolstoy, War and Peace. Want to do Moby Dick, and then I want to do Blood Meridian by Cormac McCarthy. So those are three behemoth books. Um want to do some Bronte sisters, want to do some middle March, want to do the author that I just mentioned that I forgot the like most famous, uh, woman author of all time. I forget her name right now. Uh, I want to do another Kurt Vonnegut. I want to do something by Thomas Pynchon, probably one of his easier things. Um, Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what's in my head is like, did I say Toni Morrison? I want to do Toni Morrison as well. Those are kind of the current vibes that are floating around of like, I really want to get to those, you know? Uh, you know... Also, a Jonathan Franzen, because I've never read one of his books. And a friend that kind of knows my reading taste said, like, hey, you should, you're going to really like this guy. Because uh, he's kind of, he said, don't take this the wrong way, but, like, some of his stuff is, like, kind of pretentious, and I think you'd really like that. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. I mean, it's true. I didn't take it the wrong way. Like, I really like David Foster Wallace's stuff because it's, like his Infinite Jest book, I really like it. Every page is just a joy to read, but I think some people view it as kind of pretentious or like trying to be wound up in its own stuff for the sake of being wound up in its own stuff, and I don't think that's true, actually. I think it's... Uh, I just like it, so... So, yeah. Some of the postmodern sort of American stuff and then a Russian and some historical women and... Uh, and then Cormac McCarthy and then Moby Dick is kind of on the brain, you know? And uh, there is, I have this Japanese book club, so every two months I read a Japanese book as well and then have a discussion about it, so there'll be six of those in the next year. Um, I've read like maybe 25, 26 Japanese books now. So I'm starting to really kind of like fill in a lot of the authors and have read something from most of them, which is kind of cool. <clears throat> um, fold the king eight, ace ten. We are going to see bet here in this one or nine Sunday party. The check raise we call turns a nine of clubs. I think we call on the turn here. Um, kind of wish we had like ace eight, honestly, so we didn't block the ten of hearts, but I think our hand is good enough. Uh, so yeah, we gamble. Good luck. Counterfeit. Wow. So when the check raised on the flop, we were ahead. They turned to pair. Fair enough. We got it in pretty behind, but then we hit the jack on the river. So I guess lucky, but it kind of depends at what point of that hand you want to say lucky, you know? 
like lucky on the turn, but then we weren't lucky for the rest of the hand, so fine. Queen seven suited for eight blinds. I think it's a call. I think it is a call. I think we're dead. We're definitely dead there, actually. Hey, Jamie, uh, planning on going back to playground? I'll be there at some point, uh, Alex, for sure. I don't have any plans to do the live poker stuff right now, but um, you know that could change in the future for sure. Uh, I miss it. It's good fun, man. It's like I miss hanging out with the people. Uh, and and having good conversations and making friends and stuff like that was really fun, you know, for sure. Uh, I don't I don't miss the long work hours, you know. I was working so much. Holy crap, was I working so much? I don't miss that, uh, but I I really miss the people. So, you know, I think Jane Austen. That's it, Jane Austen. I always forget her name, and it's kind of like. I'm starting to feel like I'm a little bit more well-read, you know? I'm starting to, but like not having read anything by Jane Austen or any of the Brontes is like a little bit bad. It's like, come on, man. A lot of contemporary women though, you know, Margaret Atwood and uh, listening to a book by Joan Didion right now and I've read an, a novel by Joan Didion and Rachel Cusk, who's kind of modern. And new and uh, who's that? Uh, author that I'm blanking on. Prairie. Uh, Rebecca Solnit. I've read Rebecca Solnit, no? Yeah, that's who I was thinking of, Rebecca Solnit, yeah. Right, so I've read her. So I think a decent spread, and a lot of uh, women in Japanese as well. So I feel like I have a pretty good gender balance of like modern stuff, of having fairly balanced perspectives, but not historically. Just partially problem with history, but then partially my own fault too. Rebecca, you're a star and an angel. Thank you so much for lunch. Oh my goodness, it looks amazing. That might not be cold yet, because it's only just come. How's your day going? Fine. Yeah? Yeah. You tired? Yeah. You've been working nonstop. Yeah. I've got a lot to do. You need a break. We need good content. We do need content. Thank you, Rebecca. I appreciate it. Love. Uh, I love you. Chat. Uh, I'm going to have a bit of lunch, okay? So I'm going to take off the face cam. I'm going to leave you on the ground. We'll be back in a few minutes. Enjoy the vibes and the music, and stay with
Hello, everyone. We're back. Thanks for hanging out while I had lunch. It was delicious. Thank you to Rebecca's flatbread. It was great. It was great. Okay, so we are in the 1K Grand, the Super 320, Super 215, and 109 Sunday Party. The four main tournaments we have on Sunday here at Party Poker. So, at least high stakes anyway. There's, there's the 22 Carnival as well, um, which is a main, Super 55 too. But that's what we're doing right now. So, 1.4 uh, million. We've hit the guarantee now on the Grand, and hopefully it'll just keep climbing. The 320 Super, we're 11 to 32 with three stacks, just less than three stacks, but we were chip leading and we had four stacks at one point. Super 215, we have one bounty for 50 bucks, chilling. And um, yeah, chilling in the 109 party just below start stack. So that's what's happening. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for being here. Queen 10 in the big blind. It's enough to play. Uh, we can't play it in a three bet pot or something, but I guess a raise we can call and take it to the flop. There's the raise three bets, and here is our fold. I think we play with C. Jensen sometimes. C. Jensen. Casper, Bo, Aniergaard, Jensen. Yes, we do. Oh, we do. I don't know Muhammad, though, from Denmark. Umar Farouk. I'm going to bet. Middle set, and we have queens in the ground. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So it's a three bet less than all in against both opponents, but if it goes raise call, it's a jam. Casimir opens, make it 300,000. A little bit less. 280, I think it's fine. Nah, 300. 300 is better. Take it down. Okay, fine. Just fine with us. We bet on the river here and take it down to the full house. To 102,000, good. Moving in the right direction, chat, if I say so myself. Open the jack six suited. Oh my goodness. Flop a flush, that's hard to do. Uh, we're going to go for a small bet. Big bet, big bet, I think is the way. We get check raised to 152. Just call. Just call. It is certainly possible our opponents have a flush, but it's not super likely. They check. We go for a small bet. Call rivers a king, and we are going to jam the river. Take it down. Okay, that's a very big pot. Obviously, unlucky for C. Jensen, who probably had something there and got super outflopped. Uh, just shy of two million in a very good spot in 10th place right now. It pays eight, uh, but there's still time to late reg as well. So Let's see.
Ace Queen Ace King all in here. That's a straight. That's a flush draw. That's top two. Chop it up. Wow. Sick. Sickness and in health, Dotty. What a crazy hand that was. Moving on. Full the King Nine. And Casimir is all in again. Look at the Nordic situation we got going on here. Finland, Sweden, Denmark, and Canada. Look at that. Um, I, f I forget. There's one of the countries that is not a Nordic country. Oh, I need to Google this. And I want to say it's Finland, but I need to... Denmark, Finland, Iceland, Norway, and Sweden. Yeah, no, it's... Uh, I'm just wrong, actually. They're all in there. Uh, so what is the classification that doesn't include Finland? I don't know. King six, they two and a half X, we call in position. Our hand is not great, but in position, it's definitely enough. And we continue here against quite a small bet. Two thirds definitely don't like seeing that bet size we fold. Also not a bet size you'd expect to see often for what it's worth. Uh, limp fold, I think is fine here. Okay, and we're going to go on a five-minute break here. When we come back, 1.7 start stacks in the 1K Grand. With the 320 Super, we're playing this spot, though, and this could be nice. Uh, Super 215 chipped up a little bit with a bounty, 109 Sunday Party at start stack. This is quite interesting on 6-6 Deuce. We have a gut shot, back to our flush draw, four-way pot. Muggy is the one most likely to have a six here out of everyone. So do we want to bet really small, try and clean up equity and deal with the check raise? Or do we want to check? And I feel like we want to go for a small bet here. We can deal with the check raise, especially with the backdoor spades. And it's really nice to get our opponents to fold hands like queen eight, right? Like that's a big win. So we bet take it. And that's uh, that's kind of why I like the bet. That went really well. All right, a uh, quick break. Back in a few minutes. Poker tables on Twitch. Enjoy this highlight. Stay with me. Holy smokes. Gotta love it. Rest in peace. Super 530. Moving on. Uh, Big Ben correctly points out all those countries are Nordic, but Finland isn't Scandinavian, I think, which is what I got wrong in the past. I want to refer specifically to Finland, Norway, Sweden. You can refer to that peninsula as Fenoscandia, but almost no one knows that. Yeah, I don't know that. I'll tell you that. Scandinavia excludes Finland, and then Nordic includes Finland and Iceland. 
Okay, we're learning things. We're gonna raise up ace eight here. I'm gonna call the three bit with nines. Definitely a good enough hand. We flop a set. How many sets are we gonna hit today, dude? Henning Andre, just fold so that we can focus on the set, please. Ah, they call. Queen 10 6. Check, check. It's a fine turn. Um, in a three bet pot. They overbet, we fold. We check raise, they fold. Unfortunately, we're going to check raise, check turn, but dang it, man. Really wanted more money from that. Uh, fold? Yeah. Don't fold this. So Baltic is Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania. Scandinavian countries are Denmark, Finland, Sweden. And Nordic are Denmark, Sweden, Finland, uh, Norway. Oh, wait, wait, I got the wrong. Scandinavian would be Norway, Sweden, Denmark. Would be Scandinavian. And the Nordic would include Finland and Iceland as well. Okay. Um, what is it with geography and like the interest in knowing things? <laughs> like, you know, there's a, there's a responsibility as a human being that you can adhere to or not to like know some things about the rest of existence here. And so that makes sense, right? Like just some element of understanding what's going on in the world around us. But then what is it about like getting to know capital cities or like different countries uh, around the world that is appealing, you know? Cause I don't think it's like a desire to be, to be smarter, you know, or to like compete or anything like that. It's more just like, and it's not to prepare either for anything. It's not like a prepper sort of like, oh man, I might need to know it someday. I just wonder in, internally what's interesting about it. Because there's something interesting about it. And it's, I would say it's the same sort of thing that's interested in like enjoying learning about different metro systems around the world, right? Or like urbanism. It's like the, it's a very similar kind of internal itch. And I don't know what it is. It's very just interesting. Thank you, Ben. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. The thing with the, so the break videos, I could turn them up. It's just that I sometimes forget to turn them down, in which case I'm, the music drowns at the first five minutes coming back. And then I don't necessarily think it's such a bad thing for it to be slightly different volume for the break than the normal. But um, that's kind of why. I should probably just get into the habit of doing it anyways. Uh, Muggy opens, flatting, fours in position. Can we get a pa? Ah, pretty please. We gotta make a final table, dude. I'm gonna try though. I'm gonna try to make it happen. Has medicinal powers. Yeah, word. Let's go. I'm trying, dude. 11 to 19 here. 17 minutes left in reg in the grand. Uh, 11 to 27. I mean, you know, we'll probably make one of these two final tables. Probably. Not likely both, but probably one of the two. What are the odds of that? So about, about one in three here, right? So 0 0.33 plus about half here. Uh, a little bit less, maybe 0 
So 0 0.33 plus 0 0.4, 0 0.73, right? At least 73% that we're gonna make one of the two. Is that, can you just add those percentages together? Is that the right odds? Oh, you might have to divide by two. Yeah, I think divide by two, which would be 0 0.73, uh, half of that would be what, 38% or something? We'll make one of the two. I don't know if that's right, dude. And I don't want to spend a lot of my brain power doing it right now, so. Because <coughs> I guess the problem with like, <coughs> excuse me. It seems like the problem with the probability that we make one of these two final tables, if this is 40% and this is 33%, is that if we just add the two, it's almost like we're double counting when we make both final tables. And I don't know if that's true or not, but it doesn't matter. That's fine. Good time to have flatted ace jack here, uh, Casimir. Okay. with 8-9. Good enough uh, three ways to call for the min race. We missed the flop though. Not enough of anything. Should we fold? Uh, the Grand Get 50 entrance this week, still 13 minutes of late reg. Right now it has 42. I think we should bluff here with the 10 high. Trying to bluff queen high and ace highs at some frequency. Queen high is a bit much to ask, honestly. With the gutter, most of those probably bet on the flop. And if they don't, they probably have enough to go along where they're going to call on the turn. But we can bluff some ace highs. Uh, nine on the end. Give up. I think it's a pretty bad bluff card. It's kind of tough to represent a nine on the turn for betting half pot. So, yeah, I'll just give up. Okay. Mm. 
If it was one or the other, yes. It is one or the other. Yeah, it's either one. It's hitting both you multiply the odds. I feel like when it's one or the other, like, aren't we double counting the probability of when we make both? Uh, because it's it's like we're trying to satisfy a yes or no answer, right? Which is like, so if we're counting yes when there was already a yes over here, it's like that percentage shouldn't count, basically. So I feel like it's this plus this minus bracket this times this bracket. Right, the probability of this times this, which essentially subtracts the double count, I think. Which, if we're going to do that, right, is this scientific? Yeah. So I think it'd be, so we said bracket 0 0.3 plus here we said 40% of the time, 0 0.4 bracket uh, minus bracket 0 0.3 times 0 0.4 bracket for 0.58% of the time. I feel like that is how we do it to get rid of the double count, which is just over half the time. That See, that number seems right as well, intuitively. It seems like the right answer, but... It's a complicated one because it, it's like too high, and I know it's too high, and then it's like... And it's not super simple to find the double count, which is like, hey, if you if you make both at the same time, you're counting that twice when it's a yes or no answer that you're looking for, like a binary zero or one. So I think we just check all down here, but Getting raised on this turn is a little weird. They probably have a nine. They do have a nine. We chop, that's fine. It's hard to find bluffs there, you know, especially under the gun when we lead. Do you see, do you still see any advantages playing live? Live poker's fun, you know? Like live poker is not going to make me more money than playing online poker at the moment. Um, but it's really enjoyable. So I, you know, I think it's like, this is how I felt before I started streaming and still how I feel. It's nice to have a balance between online poker and live poker. The best parts of live poker is you get to connect with real human beings, make real friendships, uh, you know, and sort of engage in a community. And then also play poker games that are generally not too difficult. Online, you get to play way more poker hands, right? So you improve way faster, you learn way more, and you get to play like, you know, 10, 20 times more poker hands a day. So you just, if you really love the game of poker, Online poker is great at playing the game of poker. Um, so yeah, they're, they're both great. They're both really good. Both enjoyable. I don't want to live in a world without either. Wow, look at this. Uh, raise three bet, four bet, five bet, six bet, fold? Is that what just went down? No. I think it's just raise three bet, four bet. Okay. I was going to say it. I haven't seen a wild six bet in a while. Yeah, raise three bet, four bet, fold. Okay. Blinds are up there, basically, is what we're saying. The blinds are getting up there in the grand. We're, we're not early days in the tournament anymore as we win the pot with kings in the 215. Open ace jack, we open king jack. Start with a check here with this one. The ace jack gets through. Fine, easy enough. Moving on. Let's play a small pot here, is our preference. If we can do that, would be Trabian. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. 
excuse me. Can we bet here on the turn? I think so. Yeah, I think we can put out a little bet. What? Check back on the flop. Raise turn? Nah, dude. Don't believe you. Nah, dude. Don't believe you. Nah, dude. It's a heart draw all day. I don't believe him. Or eight's full, for what it's worth. But I think it's a hard draw. Because I think they're just going to bet trip aces in the flop. They're never going to check back, right? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a pure bluff. They jam after bluffing with nine deuce for a $50 bounty. We probably call too wide over theory here because they kind of punted that last hand. So the punt probability is high here, especially with the bounty. I think it's a, a call. They base eight though, which, you know, you just get that tax. When you when you kind of bluff there like that, you get to shove wide or you're going to get called wired is what it is. Uh, they win them chips back. Dang it. All them chips be gone. <laughs> We're going to pull the jack eight. I'm pretty impressed as well, Ben, to be honest. Thank you, man. I feel good about finding that solution because it's kind of, uh, it seems a little tricky. So I'm not gonna lie, the, uh, the ego is pretty pumped to find that solution. Hold to the three bit here. I don't think it's enough with the uh, queen five. The queen jack, honestly, this is like probably a fold. A little too wide of an open there with queen jack, but it worked, so that's okay. We're happy about that. And we're down to 15 left in the tournament here. Four minutes left in reg. We're up to 43 players. So Johannes just uh, re entered, I think, the tournament. Uh, Jalame is the chip leader. Uh, Nole, Canadian Jalame. 5.5 million. Oops. <laughs> Excuse me. Queen seven is a fold. King queen is not, and this bounty is going to be a play. So basically, we just play for everything here. I think we honestly jam and just get this $50 bounty heads up. And if they call, we're probably ahead. So, yeah, we just rip here, dude. Give me this 50 bucks. And get out of there, slab. Oh, they have kings. That's, that's so unlucky that they have kings here. That's crazy unlucky. King queen suited. Okay, well. Uh, we're dead in the su super 250. We can play again here. But did we get a bounty? We did for 50 bucks. Okay. Yeah, mark that down because I did sell a tiny bit of action in that tourney. So we're gonna enter our second bullet here. Back in action in the Super 215 attempt number two.
Hvor er det ikke See, Jensen is all in, and we are going to call against Kasper Bo Niergaard Jensen. But if Henning Andre wants to go all in over the top, we would call him too. Is King Jensen with two minutes left in Reg for C. Jensen. We get it done. Let's go. 1.2 million coming our way, chipping up nicely. That puts us in 10th place with eight paying. Let's go. Come back, chefs. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, the Super 215 really was a quick demise, but you know, it's okay. Okay, nice. We got the double barrel Jammerine on this turn. Fold. Fold. Let's go. Double barrel success. A. How about the nines here in the grands? Register closed. So now would not be a good time to bust because we just closed registration. Uh, 45 players this week, paying eight. First place is 13,800. It is an art score potential up top. Jonathan calls, 126. Very awkward against a shove from De Silva here. Uh, against Johannes. Uh, yeah, awkward. But Henning goes for the jam, and we can fold, I think, pretty comfortably. They're risking a lot of chips here. 50 blinds against uh, Jonathan. I think this makes a lot of sense with the uh, tens and jacks and stuff like that. Probably not gonna see like sevens, I don't think. So yeah, we'll just fold. What's your favorite chip trick? Um, there's one I kind of made that Basically, there's two stacks of chips. There's a stack of chips in your uh, right hand, or for me, right hand is my dominant hands. And then there's like, you're trying to make, transfer the stack from the right hand to the left hand. And you do it kind of like a staple gun almost, where you, you flick the top chip of the stack with your pointer finger like this, you know? So you're holding it like this and you flick all the way down. So you start with the top chip and it flies in the air and lands in your left hand, and you start to build a stack in your left hand as you kind of just fire them off the top. So that's probably my favorite, but it's hard to like reproduce faithfully because it's difficult to do. Uh, I'd need to practice a lot more. My second favorite though is three chips where you pull out the middle one, you catch it, you spin it, rotate it on top, and you slide it back in the middle. Uh, that one I do all the time. And yeah, I'm just constantly doing that one basically. I think we small bet here with our king 10. And we defend with queen six, which is not a great hand, but it's enough of a hand. Um, bad flop, just gonna check fold here. Beck get a call, really bad turn, check check. <laughs> Pretty bad river. We can call a block bet, which can be jack 10 and, t and 10 eight, but other than that, we can't. If we check, we beat ace eight, which is nice to win there. And we move on and we fold. All right, I'm gonna call Ace Queen O, uh, fold the Ace Two. So final two tables here, 14 left in the tournament. I'll open up the other table for a Swess. I think is cool. 
just so we can see uh, people bust. But like, you know, two stacks is probably not enough to catch this tournament. We probably need a bit more. Likely. Uh, so raise under the gun, call, call, squeeze all in for 44, and then a re-squeeze. I think we should call covering both bounties here, and eggs pretty much can't have a good hand. Uh, so it's really like, how does ace-queen do against this hand? We're doing really well against max fed. And I think well enough when you add $200 in play here. So good luck, and uh, just hope eggs folds like sevens or sixes or fives or fours or whatever uh, instead of calling, and then we'd have to flip you know, in a 240000 side pot between ourselves and eggs, 230,000. They fold ace, queen, seven jacks. Great lineup here for two bounties and a massive stack. Come on, let's go. Uh, that's a huge pot. I think we are Sam and Felt now. Pretty sure, yeah, 338. So we are up money, but not yet cash the tournament, which is awesome. Um, and that's going to put us in second place, too. First place would be about 5k today, but it, it could be all the way up to 7,500 if you crush in bounties, which we are doing at the moment. So um, so let's go. Let's make it count, dude. Uh, full tier? Yeah. Raise three bets. We peel, clop the cop. Hit it! Da, 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 da. Everybody. Da, 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 da. Hey, hey, oh. We didn't hit it. That's not an it. It has not been hit here, chat. We hold. Ooh, yes. Unfortunately, covered by eggs here, but we cover Jimmy the Tie, Muggy, and Educate Yourself. My first impression is to flat and go for the home run of trying to get this $112 bounty and like a massive pot uh, by keeping our range pretty tight, especially when we are 70 blinds deep. You can get in queens for 70 blinds, but it's not like a slam dunk. So I'm going to try and go for the monster score here. And hope that educate yourself picks up basically like sixes plus or something here and uh goes for it but they just call okay ace four three with two hearts all right the home run has not been hit but we still have a decent hand a hand that can play at least a street here maybe a better one third we call a uh, really good turn it makes it less likely they have an ace x hand and more likely they have something else um, they bet 33,000. I think we should peel again here and then fold the river if they continue betting. Like, if they do have trip aces, they're obviously going to value bet, right? So, uh, that's relevant. Ooh. I was just wondering if I could bluff here. Uh, we probably want to have tens without a heart where we don't block, uh, ace queen, which would be trying to get to fold here. By jamming, we'd be trying to say we have ace jack or fours or threes. Uh, I don't think we should do it here with queens. Just fold. And and we can't call either. So Jack's just kind of interesting because it's not for sure that they would choose that bet sizing on the turn with ace jack, which makes the full house in the end, right? Uh, whereas we can definitely have ace jack full house in our range. So it's a spot where you can you can start to think some devious thoughts, but I don't think... We should there. Fold the jack 10, not quite enough. King seven suited is very close here. Fold. Four of 19, 15 pay. So we're four off the money in the super 320. 215, registration closed in 12 minutes.
All right, ace deuce with some clubs. King queen gets three bets and it's a fold. Queen 10 suited is a raise. We check back with ace deuce. Four diamonds out there now. Pretty much done with the hand. Sometimes get to show it in a win, but um, other than that, I think we're done. We bet very small, but it's enough for me. Fourteen left in the grand on one point seven million. Can we get it done today, Date? I sure hope so. Pretty decent hand here. Uh, we're all in with ace five suited. It's a great squeeze jam hand here. Um, and Lenore can have a pretty weak range as well. I think we are all in. So good luck in the grand with ace five suited. No calls. Nice. Let's go. 2,050,000. Jam gets through. And we have jacks. Beautiful. We want to play against Jimmy the Tie and educate yourself for stacks. Uh, against the others, we have 62 blinds, which is a little awkward. It's it's a little awkward in a lot of spots here. Against a raised three bet from anyone, it's a little awkward. But given there's a bounty on their head, this three betting range is going to be very wide, in which case I don't think we want to fold. Now, do we want to play it for a four bet or a call? I think call seems a lot better. Keep this player in the pot and basically don't fold when there's a bounty in play. Yeah, I think we want to call here. But it is setting up kind of awkward um, just because of stack depth, right? We like our hand. We do like our hand for sure. Don't don't take this like pondering for pessimism. It's like, no, it's a great hand. It's just sometimes we're going to face really tough decisions here. Like against a jam rejam, for example. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, queen 5-4 in the flop. Our hand is... Also a little awkward to play here. We'd want to play some check raises with like aces and kings. I don't think we want to with jacks. I think I'm going to though. I'm going to check raise, check turn. Thinking being here, this is what we're going to want to do with really strong aces, kings, ace, queen. And this also is consistent with like us flatting a strong range. Uh, and also our opponent. Uh, three bidding a weaker range than they typically would have because of the bounty. So all of that makes some sense, I think. Turn ace is bad. It's just a check fold now. Um, we've kind of done our job on the flop and like gotten them to fold some hands that have some equity uh, and also represented like the strength of our range. And uh, now it's just bad. So it's check, check. Not in the river. We're going to check. We win somehow against probably tens. Uh, I don't know what else it could be. Yeah, tens. Okay. 
Tens is good. 335,000. I am glad that we see that hand because there's very little we beat, you know, like almost nothing. Um, so tens is pretty much the only one. Three bit against variance here. Raising the button. We get four bit all in, we fold, that's okay. So we bed flop call check call a one quarter bet on the turn and we make a pair of jacks so we don't hit but we have the best hand sometimes probably not enough to bluff catch against a jam though we bet less than a lint really there's a bounty on our head no jam our check call is really weak on the turn though i'm gonna fold still um but i'm surprised that they don't jam there because i would expect jam to be the sizing mm. Old 330,000, 1.8 million in the grand. Uh, Yin Yang, what's up? Thank you for the good luck, man. Oh my goodness, Dodgers SCC dropping 101 months. How did I miss that? Dodgers, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. 101 months in the house. Get to love the chat, you guys. A massive resub. Dodger SCC dropping the 101. Thank you, man. It's been a second, Dodger. All right, we're on the bubble here. Soft bubble, 18 left, 15 pay. The salmon felt must go. Jonathan Sachs goes for the open here, 2.2x. Yeah. We're going to, I think, call the 10 6 suited. I think it's enough of something to uh, play. But, you know, 3 bet, of course, would take us out of the action here. We're 11 of 14 still. Someone has this 200 blind stack. They're opening a wide range. Definitely feel okay jamming ace 10 against a wide range like that. And I think they're going to fold, but let's see. Yeah. And here's a fold. It goes raise, three bet, four bet from De Silva. I think Henning is priced in here, 900 to win 2.3. So should be calling any two cards in this spot. Aces, ace, queen. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And this flop would have been dicey for us. We would have continued, but... Henning knocks out another player. We're down to 13 left in the tournament. Whoops. Misclick. There we go. Thirteen left, eight pay. We're in eleventh. Eighth place for context has three million. Jonathan is an eighth.
Hold of the overbet, I think, obviously, I would say. Uh, it is too much to risk with our weak top pair on a board that has a lot going on. Um, but we continue with some soft, you know, some two pairs with some straights with a stronger top pair uh, or pair and draw. Like we continue with all that stuff. Raise, call, call. Three ways to flop with half a milli in there. Excuse me. Hundred one months. Sheesh. True. That's exactly the word for it. Sheesh. Dodger the legend. Pot going on here in the 320. Matty Ice still in this 320 tournament, by the way. Should open the other table for sweats on table six. As we get our way down to the money. Do six is gonna be fold. Queen eight on the button is going to be a raise. The three bet from Klopp. Can't do it. Can't do with the ace nine there. Getting close now. We're getting there, Ben. We're getting there, Ben. We're playing on party poker, man. Uh, I don't think it plays well enough multi ways, so we'll fold. Queen four, also going to fold here. Kind of trashed here. Kind of trashed here, so we fold. Bubble continues. 60K, 90K, and then also 76K on the other table. And in the grand, we got a 2 million, 1.5 million. There's us on 1.5 million, or 1.6, and 1.6. Those are the uh, four shortest, but we've got some battling to do, I think, before we make the money here in the grand because everyone's very close together. Ninth place has 3.2 million and the chip lead has 5.7 million, right? So there's less than a double up between first and ninth, and that is, uh, things are bunched up. So it should be really interesting to see how it plays out. Henning is the chip leader here. Call for the min raise with queen six, and again, it's just a check fold. Total miss, which is too bad, but it's also easy enough to play these flops and just like, okay, well, it's a total miss here uh, and not enough backup to continue. 
I guess a little mid bit. We might continue with the Queen of Diamonds there, but no matter. One, seven, eight. So if any of you bought anything on Stake Kings, one bullet in the grand, one bullet in the 320, two bullets in the 215 uh, bounty. The first bullet got $50 in bounties and busted, and then we're still in the second bullet with nothing. The first bullet in the 320, we have 338 in bounties right now. So uh, basically break even at this point, but pretty close to the money to where we will have a nice return. Let us see, let us see, let us see. I am starting to get a small headache and I look forward to a drink on break. Queens against Jax, Romo Pro against Baby Shark. Big chip up for Baby Shark, Romo Pro on two and a half Milski now. I think open this. Uh, we cover here and here and here, which is nice. Not that we can call a jam from Educate Yourself, but we could against Jimmy the Tie. No W Coop this year. I'm not sure if I'll play any W Coop. Uh, I'll call here. I haven't looked at the schedule yet. Uh, maybe. It's, it just depends. If I'm feeling it one day, I'll hop in there. Take it down for 116. It's just kind of hard for me to get money on uh, stars at the moment. My main payment processor is Luxon, and I don't think Luxon is available at stars. Um, so, I don't know. I'm pretty sure they're not in there, but to be determined. Not today, though. Um, tomorrow. I have a French class, which I'm taking Mondays and Wednesdays in the evenings. Um, usually not going to be an issue, but tomorrow is like my first one. So if I make any other day twos and I need to go play the day two and skip a class, that's fine. But I kind of don't want to miss the first one, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, as we take the $75 bounty and a bunch of chips up to 340000 so I didn't really want to get some big day twos for tomorrow and then miss that first class. Is part of it as well. Wow, this is annoying, dude, with tens. Fold, eggs, opens, peel, streets. Not flush draw on the paired board. Ace, ace, queen. Start with a check call here. <laughs> Just call, turns a deuce. Check call again. Unless it's a bet of like 50,000 or something. Maybe it was check check, rivers of 10. I don't think we want to bluff with uh, king eight here. We'd be trying to bluff king nine. Uh, I don't think we're going to buff, bluff threes through nines. So there's pretty much just one hand we can bluff. The same hand, essentially. You know, play the board with a king. And that's not enough of a reason. So it checks down. We win against some air ball, I think. Yes, the jack nine. They say queen eight. Wow. So Evan, oh, they chop. Oh my goodness, but that was a huge pot all in there. Like button versus big blind, they both flop trips. Imagine that. That's so sick. And heading Andre pulling out the chop is a massive win for them there. I mean, I think we just root for the bust, right? Like there's no bounties here, so 
we need all the chips, but we don't care. We don't have to get them ourselves until we're heads up, right? Whatever can get us to more and more money is what we want. Talk about cooler. Two pair against set. Sick. Big time guys wins one against Romo Pro. Can't seem to win a pot at the moment. We're on the pure bubble here of the Super 320. Final two tables. I didn't even realize we were final three until just now. We were final three tables. Now it's just the final two. Limpin was 6-7 suited. We go to a really bad flop. All hearts. Uh, I think it's probably a turn bluff here. King 4 jam gets through in the super 215. Evan calls. River is an ace. I think give up. Their most likely hand is a high heart which uh, is going to call the river when it double pairs here. So, yeah, I just like folding. Aces and jacks with a seven kicker is not enough. So, yeah, we're short, but, you know, we're battling to stay alive. My eyes hit you one second. What am I going to do here? Raise. Deuce. Oh. Okay, he's alive. That's good news. I didn't know who covered who. Over the a of clubs. When we come back, we're 13 of 13 in the grand, but still in. Um, we are 3 of 16 on the pure bubble of the Super 320 final two tables. Super 215, we're a little bit short. Same here in the 109 Sunday party, um, but on patrol. I'm going to grab a drink. Back in a few minutes, we just got to play this uh, East Jack first. <laughs> Pulled. See you in a few. Hello. Salut. Welcome back. Let's uh, win tournaments. Let's raise threes. Um, and let's fold a seven in the grand. Threes are fine. They're not amazing, but they're fine. They're enough to play here. We fold the 10 6, which is not enough. Whatever gets us to eighth is what we want. Yeah, let's get in the money, dude. Let's get in the money, man.
and queen deuce is not enough. So we fold and we're back to a starting stack here on our first bullet, but back to a starting stack and just not, not really the dream that we want here. There's a jack nine spades. Currently second in the 109, thanks to the win in your home game on Friday. Let's go, Bounty Gaming UK. Come on, man. Take that win in the home game and spur it to a victory in the 109. Unless, well, a second place, because I'm still in. But second would be pretty good. And you should be proud of a second place. <laughs> uh, friend Preak or French Empire Ace King. Hello. What's up, man? Bienvenue. Um... Fold to the three bit there. Ace eight. Ooh, so close to a gem, but I don't think it is. I don't think it is. It's like the edge, though, you know? We're on the edge here. Dang. That's annoying. That is annoying. Okay. It's all right. Patience is a virtue. What are we going to do? Got to wait. Pure bubble. Is Miss Your Ice the shortest? No. There's two stacks shorter than Matty, but Matt's bounty is huge. It's a huge bounty for a 100k stack, so. They've got to be licking their lips over there, trying to get that money. Educate yourself, going for the jam here, basically. Shoves half their stack. On our other table, raise, jam, fold. It's a big jam, no? 41 blinds, yeah, it's a big jam. This has been a super aggressive table. Defend against the old eggs and jam in the old grand with ace-10. This is the important one, so we'll sweat this. <coughs> Easy enough. Defend with the 10-5. Oh my goodness. Total bricks. Total, total bricks. Total, total, total bricks. Lose those chips that we just gained, but that's okay. We got to see a flop for cheap, for free, basically, when you think about it. With the chips we gained, we got to see this flop for free. Wasn't for us, but that's okay. Heading Andre is defaulting to the one-sixth seabed size against us. Disrespectful, frankly. Very disrespectful. And I'm going to remember that, Henning Andre. So you you get to know it. Disrespectful. King Jack, we could limp call here, but probably better to jam. Um, I actually do like limp calling a little bit better, I think. The thing is that by jamming, we're not going to fold out any better hands. And we're not going to get called by many worse hands either. Uh... A few, but not many. And some of those worst hands that would call will jam themselves. So I think I like playing this slow. Uh, Evan bets. We still almost definitely have the best hand. Unless they flopped quads or they check back an ace, which is pretty unlikely. Like ace six, ace seven. 
East 5 can check back at some frequency, but most of the time, like, no. Um, call again here. So yeah, I mean, we just let them hopefully bluff with their extremely wide range here, or we lose to quad sevens is fine too. Okay, 1.3, nine eights. I like the bet on the flop. Yeah, it turns sometimes, fine. Fine, fine, fine. All right, uh, 1.3 million, chilling. What is French for Balud? I'm not saying that. Come on, Balud. Hey, now, man. Come on. Come on now, Balud. What's up, Startup Tim? How are you, man? How are the streets going today? Stream title shows PLO. Heck yeah, big PLO fan. I do private cash games with PLO. Good luck, brother. Thanks, man. Uh, we busted the PLO, unfortunately. I think we can steal this, like raise fold. Um, but we're deep in two tourneys. Four of 16 in the 320. And then we are still in the ground with 13 left. A short stack, but alive. So yeah, things are okay, man. How about yourself? How was the week? Raise again. Nice, back to back wins. Ooh. Ooh, I really don't know what to do here. Uh, it's an interesting one. I'm going to call, I think. Only with King Jack here in the Super 215. Checks around on the flop, turns an ace. We check again. Super 215, bullet two, no bounties. Pretty short, 20 pay, 30 left. We're in 29th. Need some good vibes. Need some good news. Need some good vibes. Brutal runner. I think we fold here, actually. Pretty likely this is an ace flatting in the small blind or something better. Uh, so yeah, I don't think King-10 is going to win, actually. Call, call, over jam. This is for a min bounty. Well, I should be screwed. But you never know. What? What is it? Guys, it's only 50 bucks. Relax. All right, we triple up. That's great. Uh, on 110,000. Now, fours are going to rejam against Eleanor for sure. And just don't have it here, Eleanor. That would be painful. We're pretty short, though. I mean, so, you know, you're going to have to take some risk at the end here. Ace, queen, ace, jack, aces, and nines. We need another queen, please. Okay, no dice. GG in the 109 Sunday party, the end of days there.
Queens potential to burst the bubble here. If Luka Doncic has a worse hand, cold four, we definitely call against Eggs, who has tens for $271 bounty and to burst the bubble. Huge, huge pot here. Let's go. Let's go. That's just great news, man. So we are $684 in bounties. We are bounty kings in the tournament, and we're in second place as well. Yeah. Let's go. Playing any scoop this year? Sorry, W Cube. Uh, I'm not sure. To be determined, I'd say. To be determined. Pot size bet. I call. I call. I think we call here as well, right? Top two. Lose to Jack 10, but we block Jack 10. 6 7 is the main concern here, but it's a pretty good hand. I think they're bluffing on the river here with aces. They're definitely bluffing. Um, is it a good hand to bluff? No, because you don't want to block the like enough flush draws, repair flush draw kind of stuff. Ace-Queen suited is something decent. Ace-10 is worth an open here as well. One twenty five bounty in play. I think we four bet fold to a jam from variance. But we're willing to play this against gained flower. Back to the ace ten. Johannes in the big blind. Calls. Queen queen ten on the flop. I think check back is right. Gained flower thinking. I think check check again now. Aces and queens with a ten kicker. It's a fine hand, but it's only one street of value. Protect ourselves from getting uh, busted from the tournament and then also induce some bluffs, hopefully, on the river. Only protecting against, um, you know, like a gutter king or jack, basically, on the, on the turn. We make a full house. Uh, queen's full of aces. And we're just going to bet here. And I don't know how we're going to get called, to be honest, but we'll bet. Take it down. Over 2 million. Once again, we've battled back to something uh, workable here. So our four bet worked out. Raise call jam for 20 blinds. I say no. But we are on such a big stack now from the dead. Pull the queen seven here. Uh, Busted Pilo, glad you're still in the hold'em tourneys. I'm doing great. Thanks. Just had a baby and focusing on the startup life. That's amazing. Congrats on the baby. Busy, busy. First time on Twitch in a uh, week overall, which is very atypical of me. Let's go big pods and big art. Let's go, man. Art score potential. We need to win the grand. Super 320, I don't think we can do it. It'll be like five to 7,500, but you know, we'll just win the grand. It's fine. We'll just win the grand. Matty Ice getting the rejam through Matty Bands. Matty Benny Beans. Uh, five six closing the action here. I think so. I would fold like five seven. I would fold six four. But five six I think is enough. We flop an open ender, which is pretty interesting. Deuce or seven gives us the nuts, but of course there is hearts out there as well. What's typical is we're going to see a small bet from Henning Andre, and that's definitely the bet size we want to see. A check or a small bet would be preferable. Wow. We have a straight. Eleanor bets half pot. We call. Are we worried about the flush? We're not worried about it against this bet, but if they go big bet, big bet, it's like, damn. Like we call with them. I 
And I think just call, especially on the paired board here. It's just a call with a straight, with the same hand, which is hilarious. Uh, that's pretty funny. Also interesting to note, right? It was a min raise and a call from Eleanor in small blind there with five, six, which is definitely not a decision I would have made with that hand. So it's worthwhile to, to notice that, let's say. Hmm. All right, King Four beats a seven. Nice hand, King Four. Uh, queen 10 of the button is pretty solid as well. We are running hot today, man. We just are. We've made a straight. Like, we're just making so many big hands today. It's, it's epic. Hopefully it translates to money, because so far it, it might, but it hasn't yet. So let's see. Okay, we take it down. We're gonna fold queen 10 to the open from Henning Andre here. Jacks, a, a beautiful hand that we raise. And we don't fold. We're four away from the money. 12, 11, 10, nine. Yeah, four people need to bust till we make the money. But it's a small field, right? So it's not that close. Jacks is very strong. Uh, w, Trex, er, TW, dropping the prime sub. Thanks for that prime sub. Appreciate you, my friend. Get some hearts out in the chat for the new subscriber. Uh, thank you very much, man. Uh, so we go for a small bet, 150 here. When they check raise, we fast play jam, I think is the way. With our jacks. Henning Andre has a very high flop check raise so far. I think I've seen them do it three or four times on this table. Which makes sense that the chip leader can put tons of pressure on. They're assuming that we're overfolding flops. Uh, we might be slightly overfolding flops. We all might. But we're not going to overfold here, right? Um, so yeah, we are going to jam here. Good luck. Don't have the goods. And we're up to 3 million. Just like that, we are in seventh place. We fought back from the depths to be in a pretty good position here. Now against Mr. Matty Bands, Matty Benny Beans with this big old bounty and sub-20 blinds. We three bet eights, willing to rumble if he rumbles, but he folds. Um, that's just a really big bounty. You know, we want to get that thing. We want to get that thing ourselves. So in the money, 339 cash plus 684 in bounties. Thousand-ish. Pretty good news. Ooh, no. And on the other table, we have action. That's a flush against East Jack. Uh, Klein. K4 Len. Takes down a pot. Pocket fives, slabs, JR. Open three bet, I'm out. Gained flower on both these tables. All in, sixes against queen five. 
which means that this 3-bit is strong because they're focused on this. Let's see if I'm right. They double up here. Nice. They're gassed. A little bit more likely to let off the gas here because they just doubled up here. They're going to see that. Tens against sevens all in on our table. I don't know who has who covered. Tens are going to win the pot. And we have a new short stacks. 11 left chat. 11 left. Jonathan on five blinds. Gainflower loses the pot somehow. In the 320, Kings beat King Jack here. So we're down to 13 now. 13 left in the tournament there. They're all in for four and a half blinds. Do we need to call off with 10-7 here? Probably not. Uh, it's going to be 350 to win 675. So we need about 35% equity. But uh, now we definitely fold. But there is some disincentive to take risk based on where we're at in the field. Eight pay, we're three, three away from the money. We're in seventh place. We would chip up a short stack to like a significant stack. So I think a fold would be fine. We actually would have had the same hand, but they would have made a flush, which is sick. And now we have aces. Uh, limp rays here, probably. I think I like limp rays. Especially Evan's got like 4.8 million. Put some pressure on us. Just check, check on the flop. All right, we're just going to bet, bet now. <laughs> no action. Okay. Uh, yo, HJ Tracy. Drop the 13 month resub. Thank you so much, my friend. Welcome back. Get some hearts on the chat for the resubscription. Happy Sunday, resub. Thank you very much, man. Happy to be here. 7 6 suited. Uh, ooh. I'm going to fold, I think, with the 10 blind stack and the big blind there. I think, in theory, you need to 3 bet this occasionally. I don't like it with this lineup behind. We got a pot against our potential. Uh, We've got a potential pot against our brother, I should say, not a pot against our potential brother. He's definitely our brother. He most definitely is. <laughs> We're gonna fold the three five. And five four. We can limp in maybe. Three twenty is ours today, bro. I hope so. I'd like both of them to be ours today, actually. Just win both. Win all three. Why? Why leave the super two fifteen out? To be honest, let's just win all three. But things are getting pretty close to the grand now. We need to bust two people to make the final table. There's a ten blind stack, a fifteen blind stack. So we're getting we're getting down to business. This one twenty five bounty. Is something, but I don't think it's enough to uh, call off there. 18 blinds. Andre wins a pot with the five there. Queen fives a folds. All right, to the flop. East queen five, check raise here. We want to get the the money in against this bounty. We're going to dominate hands like ace 10, ace nine suited, ace seven suited, six suited, four suited, three suited, two suited. And uh, so, yeah, we want to play this quickly. I think in a bounty.
And lose to ace king, ace queen, ace five. Aces, queens, fives. And ace nine, maybe. We've lost a player, by the way. We're down to 12 now in the Super 320. 12 left. They fold on the turn. That's fine. We're up to 300,000. 10 deuce is going to be a fold to Johannes. Next pot. Three bet variants. Three bit get a call. East King, Queen, all diamonds. Okay, we win the pot against uh, something. King, queen, maybe. King, queen. Man, I'm just dialed at the moment. With sniping hands like king, queen out of the air. Uh, we race. Ready to get it all in against either opponent. If Evan jams, we can call. Against Jonathan jams, we call as well. Uh, against both opponents is where it gets weird, I guess. Like against a three bet, four bet. But yeah. Yeah, we take it down. Easy enough. Uh, the bubble is active. We are two off the money here in eighth position. Uh, there is Jonathan with a million stack. And then it's kind of like very tied, to be honest. Like fifth place has 3.3 .3 million. And we're in eighth place with 3 million. So we're all quite bunched up. We need two people to bust. Jack 10 of hearts is very nice. Let's raise this in the Super 320. Too much. Fold. Fold there. 12 left. Uh, I think that's a... No, next next one is a pay jump. It's only a $30 pay jump as well. Six deuce of folds. In the 320 other table. Two all-ins here. King, queen, ace, nine. That is very nice. Pull the six deuce, the grand. We have an all in in the cutoff of the grand here. Mattis on nine million, must be nice. Nine million and eight million, what a stacked table. I find that using blind showing rather than showing chips has improved my game, your thoughts? I think that's that's great. If it helps you, that is awesome. For me, I've just been converting chips to blinds for 12 years now, so I don't need it because um, that's just what my brain does anyways. And then I think it's more interesting for new viewers of the stream to come in and see you know, 2.9 million as opposed to 24.9 BB because they probably don't know what that means. And that's not great for me trying to sort of grow the game and showcase the game to people that are generally newer to the game. And those of you that are grinders can do the math yourself. You know, it's... Uh, it's not too challenging, so, so yeah. I think this is an open. Uh, it's a raise fold to a jam for what it's worth, but I think it's a fine hand to open here with the ace blocker. I think you want to start to fold some more like 10-9 suited, 9-8 suited sort of hands and raise a few more ace-x hands. Um, they're a better hand to raise when you're under ICM situations. Where the game just becomes a little bit more pre-flop, basically. Take it down, good stuff, all right. We like that, 3.2 million. Matty Ice, king, queen against ace, queen, no. Oh, and a three wheel in on the other table. What is going on? So matty has gone. Who busts in 12th? Matt's out in 11th. Rome Opro is out in 12th. We're down to 10 now. We're on the final table bubble here in fourth place currently. But Matt is leading the Super 215, so, you know. It's all right. <laughs> it's, uh, wow.
Ioannis takes one down there. All right. Six of ten still. We got the million stack on the other table. And we have a very difficult to play ace deuce off suit, I think, given the way stacks are. Folding. Two and a half X. I think fold is good. It's a hand that's basically neutral EV. Like, if it's going to make money, it's barely going to make money. I don't think it's worthwhile, honestly, to play. So, just pass, fold. Uh, all in for seven blinds, and then an all in for four blinds, we call with any two in this spot. We need a lot of nines. <laughs> or a uh, ten would be great. Ten would uh, do it as well, actually, but... Okay. And still FT bubble here. Clop for the cop is... Uh... As none of the shorties bust, which is kind of fun. And big blind, we just try and get this to showdown with Ace High, I think. PSR, what's up, brother? How are you, man? We are 6 of 10 in the Grand, 4 of 10 in the Super 320, and 3 of 27 in the Super 215. So basically, everything is pretty exciting at the moment. And it looks like we're going to win some cash today. To be determined, basically. Um, folding. Raising. That is a flush draw. East and four, two clubs. Uh, I like going for a small bet here. We can really sort of sandwich clop for the cop in between the two of us. And against this opponent, we don't mind uh, playing with their 187 bounty. Although I don't necessarily think we want to get it all in right now. They do make a 50k. Now we're in a bit of a weird spot because we can fast play, but then we're up against like king high, queen high flush draws and stuff like that. I think call is better. Call. And if we don't approve on the turn and they jam, we fold because they have better draws or strong hands. Um... Yeah, I think that's better. We flat against variants here. Uh, six up the money with jacks, two squeeze stacks with bounties behind. I think this is the obvious answer. Call flop. And go bet bet here if we get the opportunity. If they keep barreling, I think just call, keep calling. And we win a really nice pot there against Variants. That is going to put us uh, in second place, right behind Matt, actually. So we flat in position uh, with this bounty in play. It's a really big bounty, this 370 bucks. So I think we want to play it. Jack-8 in the grand is going to be a folds. Uh, still 6 of 10. Here we go three ways to a flop. Total miss here. 9-10 against Ace-Queen. Here's some action on the other table. Open from Mattis. Three bet from Vojtek. And uh, Mattis folds. Very sweaty bubble here in the grand. Very, very sweaty. Two off. And so many of us are tied. Min cash is 2,200. Fourth place is 4,200. So it's like, this is a small field. You want your chance to win, but it's a non-bounty. So the extra chips don't give you a huge advantage here. Johannes opens. Uh... 
Call or Jam are fine here. I think Call is probably better though. It's a good board for our range, but we fold a few more of these hands than the, we would typically. Because check, check, I do like betting on the turn here, uh, especially with our hand, which is jack high. It's better to bluff than like king highs or queen highs. So it's a, a solid candidate, but we don't want to overdo it because we don't have hands like, uh, you know, jack four offsuit or queen four offsuit. Hands that we would have under non-ICM, we don't have here. So it's like the board is not as good as it looks for us. Nonetheless, we go for the small bet, we take it down, which is good. And uh, we're sort of just slowly maneuvering our way through this field. Sixth, sixth place of 10 left, um, but sort of showing some patience, I would say. It's Kalim Nole wins a pot there. Nole, Nole, Nole. Uh, how many times do you think the Shakira Nole joke has been made in their life? That might be the first one, to be honest. I, I can't tell you. Nole, nole, nole. The six nine. <coughs> Guys, I'm having a very bad, no good, rotten day in fantasy football, says Gray Street. Joe Burrow should pay me back my $25 out of his new contract. I'm so sorry, man. Brutal. I'm so sorry. Johannes opens. We're going to fold a seven suited. Force. Forza. Um, Buy-ins and caches are small today, actually. We played um, 255s, a 320, a 1K, a 109, a 215, a 109. I think there's one 215 missing here as well. So we have 2,073 in buy-ins. That's it. Luka Doncic limps. I think I just want to jam for 30 blinds here. $370 bounty is huge. It's like the same as where we're at. So I'm just going to rip. Uh, and, you know, get them to fold like all their flips and like, yeah, own myself when they have sevens. But they have to call off for the flip here for this huge bounty. Oh my goodness, keep it low. Ah, oh, it's brutal, man. It's brutal. We jam there, so they have to fold that hand, which they should, by the way. They should definitely fold that hand. Uh, because, because it's kind of a nightmare for them when they're like average stack with 10 left to flip against our range in that spot. They call. They do win the flip. It's sad. It costs us a lot of money. It's not a good call. But nonetheless, we did get a really good chance at like a massive stack and a huge bounty there. Uh, yeah. Enough said. Moving on. Uh, for the jackpot. <whistles> so basically, we're, you know, if we cash the grand, we're definitely up money because we've already cashed here for a thousand. So it's looking like a great day, and it's not a huge high stakes buy in day either. You check against twos. We want the twos to hold, so we get down to the final table here. Uh, and they do. So Jonathan Sachs is out. We're down to nine, which means we are on the pure bubble and on the final table. As Eleanor bets huge, we could burst here. Eleanor wins. I think Johannes has basically a blind left. Yeah. So we are maybe one hand away from... Uh, Cashing this tournament. It's a really difficult spot for Johannes there, actually, based on how Eleanor's been playing at this point. It's a very difficult spot. <laughs> final table hype of the Party Poker Grand. Coming into the final table. Middle of the pack, seven of nine. But we're all very bunched up, except for the chip leaders here. Uh, and we have a player forced all eight in the big blinds here, so... We're, we're actually one off the money. The min cash is 2,271. But this player is going to have to win a couple hands in a row to survive, I think. So, likely we're in there. But we got to avoid the action for now. Good luck us. Final table of the grand. We got fourth place last week. Uh, we're coming in a slightly worse position this week. So, like, obviously, our, not, our average finish is not going to be fourth when we're seven of nine. Uh, but let's just see how we do, you know? Let's see if we can maneuver and, and pick up some big hands and go from there.
Matess against Galame, two million in the middle right now. We are probably going to be the money in the unless Johannes randomly picks up the big queen or something. And it is red fell official GG to Johannes who bubbled. Two thousand two hundred seventy-one dollars. Final table of the grand. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, chat. One bullet in the grand too, so it was a good one. Very good one. Six eyes suited. It's pretty. Um, I think I'll fold. Under Chippy V, we're going to play that hand. I'm thinking it's not valuable enough to play at this point, but could be wrong. So just one shorter stack? Yeah. Uh, Andrea Radici from Malta. But we're, you know, we're just not far away from everyone else. One double up, we'd be in a clear third place. You know, five million, five million, four and a half million, four million. Like, all of us are close enough to where I don't think there's a huge difference, really. We're all in the mix to, uh, to challenge the top three. Gonna fold here. We are nine blinds deep, shortest stack of the tournament. Trying to make our way to the final table and ladder up the prize pool, of course. But race three bet, four bet. Voge Tech takes one down. At five million, we battle onwards. Matas. It here? I think so. It's definitely profitable to rip it. Uh, we'd have to risk 37 blinds, but we do cover both, and we cover this bounty, and this can't be that strong. So we're going to go for it. It kind of sucks to have ace-10 as opposed to like jack-10, because we're dominated by ace-king and ace-queen, which variants can have, but I still think it's going to make money. And we take it. This is Bubble Felt, by the way. Super 215. We get a min raise folding. Thank you, Yang Yang. Thank you. Let's get it. Fungal Wizard, Gray Street, Big Ben, Drop of the Lemon Lions. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is too suited. A nice hand. A hand that can put in some aggression here, actually, as well. Um, against Opens. The only one it sucks at against is Andrea, because they're 17 blinds deep, or 18. They fold, thankfully. So we're going to open. I think we're probably going to 4-bet against Galame as well. Um, although they might just jam. Makes a 770. Do we want to go for it? I think we have fold equity here against a very aggressive player. Seven of eight as well. Uh, I think we do want to four bet. It does help us chip up a lot. We have a great hand category to four bet with. Voshek is aggressive, high stakes player, plays regularly. Um, 
And yeah, we're not risking nearly as much as if we were like Eleanor or Evan. You know, if we win this pot, we kind of join them. Uh, and if we just fold here and lose, we're still sort of like in the bottom. So I think it's a jam. Good luck. Snap by the sevens. 10 or spade or ace or king. Oh. Uh, GG out in eighth place. I'm actually really surprised to see sevens for what it's worth. Uh, 2270. I'm pretty surprised to see this hand. Uh, ace four, we are the shortest stack we are going to jam. I really don't know what Theory would say to do with sevens in this spot against my 20 blinds. I mean, they're a great player, obviously, so probably know what they're doing. 22-70-94 is the finish of the grand GG. Eighth place. Uh, I can live with it. I think I'm okay with how that went down. Ace four against fours. We flop an ace on the final table with our very short stack of the Super 320. And we're up to 191, which is good news. We missed the lemon line because we were playing that pot in the grand. Final table of the Super 320. Double up first hand. And that puts us, I think, now in fifth place now. Sixth place. Let's go. So we have huge bounties, 684 in bounties, 412 cash. First place is 2300. It could be up to triple if you really crush bounties, right? So it could be up to like $7,000 for the win here. Uh, more likely, it's going to be about 5000 for the win. So that's what's up. Thank you all so much for being here. Let's make it count. We're also one of 22. We are chip leading with 22 left in the Super 215. Ace-4, ace-jack. I really don't know what Vojtek should do with those sevens. I think flat is a really... Flat doesn't make money. So you can't, you can't call if you're Vojtek. You've got a bigger stack behind that's going to be able to squeeze aggressively and crush you. You're playing a middle pair out of position under ICM as a mid stack. It just sucks. So it's either fold or three bet. As crazy as that sounds. And I would not be surprised to see a fold there in theory. But, you know, they're, they're a great player. So, clearly, I should trust their opinion about as much as my own. I bet sevens, in theory, though, is a fold, and it's the line. That's my guess. Uh, it's an interesting hand. Anyways. We had so many outs, too, man. Spade, 10, king, <laughs> queen. Ace. Oh my goodness, so many outs. All right, eights. This hand is not as good as it is typically because of the ICM. Uh, it's a fold. Yeah, definitely not a jam. Can't call. It's a fold. Uh, why? Because we we can't shove all in. We're risking too much based on the other stacks of the table. Uh, they cover us for a bounty as well. The whole table can wake up with a bigger hand. It's really a pain to bust a ninth when you're basically tied for like fifth or sixth here. Uh, that's a mistake. Um, and it's not a great hand to three bet fold. I think there's better candidates like hands like ace five suited, ace four suited would be better three bet fold hands that like when you three bet and they call, you have more equity, right? And with the ace blocker, you're gonna get them to fold more. So like eight is not the right hand to choose to three bet fold. Um, and it's not strong enough to three-bit call. So it's just a fold. As painful as that is. <whistles> but we get to open eights. I think it's enough of a hand to open raise which is different than calling a raise or three-bidding against a raise. And we get three-bet from Muggy, and we have to fold. Same thing as last hand, basically. As painful as that is, we've got to be patient. Uh, I'll put final table Super 320 in the title here. Raising a jam, we fold.
Let's open up the other two tables of the Super 215. We have no bounties and we're the chip leader of the Super 215, which is pretty sick. But you know, is what it is, daddy, is what it is. Let's just cover this, cover that, nice. Okay, we should be able to sweat as we get bust outs. The 10-5, Muggy folded to the jam from Re Reloyero. GG Burtis, GG Min, we tried. Uh, ooh, awkward here. Do we raise fold or do we jam? I think we raise fold probably. Surviving to cash that in the ground was pretty impressive. Yeah, I think it's pretty decent. Be happy with that. Fold to the open there. All in. Oh no, eggs wins a pot against a seven over there. Going on five minute break. So when we come back, chat, we are on the final table of the Super 320. In the money, cash for about 1,100-ish, 1,200. Um, more to play for. And we are chip lead on the pure bubble of the Super 215. First place in that one will be about 4,000, 4 to 6,000, depending on bounties. So uh, yeah, lots of money to play for. Enjoy the highlights. Back in five minutes. Welcome back. We're on the final table of the Super 320. And we are back in action here in the Super 215. Two of 21 and eight of nine on the final table. Hope you're all having a great time. Let us go. So do we have fold equity here? Ooh, I think there's a fold as well. If we know we have fold equity, then I like it, but um, Basically, three of us are tied at the bottom, but with our bounty, we're gonna get called, and we're gonna have to flip, which is just not worth. I think we fold. Call with the 10-7, flop a flush, which is just so sick. So sick. Slabs, Junior, check, check. We have a flush now, but I think we should check again. Now we have a 10 high diamond. We could maybe get two streets of value, but probably better to check. And let's just get this six of diamonds on the river and play an all-in pot. That'd be perfect. Bet. Bet and have worse, I should say. <laughs> yeah, nice. We got the maximum chat. We got the maximum, baby. Oh, we got the maximum, baby. We are in the money. 226 cash, no bounties, but we are chip leader. So sick. Okay. And we have sixes. Um, ooh. Jam, jam, raise, I think is the way. So basically don't jam against variants, I'd say, because we have to risk 36 blinds, which seems not worth it. I don't know. It's a bit of a weird one here. Nice. Check raise. Baby Shark is all in. We get a call from Educate Yourself. So now we've got a player at risk for maybe a little ladder here. It goes check, check on the flop. Turn comes. We're going to bet. And bet the river uh, for value. I think they can have flushes possibly, but uh, I still think it's worth a value bet. King 10, ace, queen, ace, nine. Three way all in. Queen's ahead. Queen is going to take it. So ace, nine is out, uh, which means we're down to eight. And educate yourself is just going to basically triple up here to 400,000. So there we go. We are very clear the, clearly the shortest stack now after that confrontation. Do you get a ladder? 470. Cash. Okay, poker Styler, friend of the stream. Aces versus Kings. Let's go. Poker 3 Styler, friend of the stream. Getting it done out there, dude. 2 of 19. Wait, where do we go? Oh, we switched tables. Oops. There we go. 
We switched tables. I was like, where? We didn't bust, did we? <laughs> no. Um, queen four is pretty bad. I think it's worth it here. Eight of eight. Eight of eight. We're all in. Here we go. Ace Jack is a great hand. Clop for the cop. Do you want to get this huge bounty. I think you do, honestly. I think you want to rumble for it, my friend. Ashak, Ace Five. Now keep it clean here, chat. Two hundred eighty thousand. Keep it clean. Let's go. Big double up, baby. Big double up. Okay, we're kind of tied for last now against Roliero, but basically we have chips to maneuver with now as we pick up the beautiful go crazy hand of Ace Five uh, suited. It's pretty fun. So Muggy's been pretty aggressive thus far. Uh, theoretically, we're going to 4-bet jam this all day. But they are 3-betting with the whole table behind after I just win a double up. I think folding is fine, especially given the context of this final table. So this is we're just going to deviate from theory, which is going to jam and fold. Ooh, jeez. Go Habs. Allez, le habitant. It's a day of flopping sets. Kind of true. What was our cash in that tournament? Right? 2270. 9 4. Nice. We're already in the profit on the day for sure by at least 1300. Uh, at least 1500, actually. So everything is gravy. Which I think is like. Might be our fourth winning Sunday in a row. Uh. Hot tip, chat. Games are good at the moment. Hot tip. Um, sometimes I think that, like, well, games are good. <laughs> Let's just, we'll just say that. Games are good. I think sometimes people forget that, like, the biggest guarantee does not always equal the best game. Uh, and there's a pretty good opportunity out there right now, the Party Poker Streets, I think. We're seeing it. Uh, defended the queen nine, which is not a great hand, but definitely enough to play against a button open. Uh, and king jack, we're going to raise here as well, and then fold to a jam on our final table. 
Big bet, but we still call. Turns a jack. Improves our hand. They've got to know that this improves our hand, though. So it's like... If they double barrel here, I think they've got something decent. Doesn't change anything for us, though. We have a pair and an open ender. Like, we're going to call. But, uh, yeah. Like, th this jack is a really good card for their bet two-thirds range. Okay, uh, queens. Potentially the first bounty in the tourney? I don't know. King jack in the final table. Raise it up. Okay, good. It's flat. Uh, I think we want to barrel here. Uh, they don't. Three bet pre, right? So yeah, I think we want to just represent. Here with the queens, do we want to call or squeeze? We want to squeeze. Uh, it's a hand we're willing to go with preflop. And baby shark AO flatting here. Think about, do we want to squeeze and like try and take advantage of these wide open and the wide call with the bounty in the big blind? Or do we want to flat, hope they jam, and then play the big all-in pot for like a million? Both are obviously great, but I think we can also be light there squeezing with this short stack. So we just go for the squeeze. They don't have anything to gamble with. That's fine. Up to 562 in second place. Chip leaner is Linus F. Love. Uh, let's go Tabernacle. <laughs> True. Uh, fold here, 6 4 of spades. We can open the twos because we're very deep. There's 17 left. We're chip leading basically based on the chip leader has folded, so we're second in the tournament. Baby Shark opens. Uh, call. I think it's fine. There's not many great flops for twos. This isn't a great flop, but it's a decent flop. It's kind of rare, you know? Because we have straight outs to go along with our just pair value. Checks to us, and we're going to bet. Happy to do that. Ole, 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 ole. Uh, exactement. Uh, no. No. Okay, Monsieur Ice is still in the tournament. That's good to hear. A tip, poker is easy. Sometimes. <laughs> we have the best hand in poker. Aces. Be a really good time, beat root soup, to have ace king or eggs. Eggs, we could do it here. Two eggs. Uh, Linus F love, maybe? No, baby shark. Find a little three sauce hand here, baby shark. They call flop is deuce eight seven two hearts. <laughs> We're gonna go half pot here. It's a board where they're going to have a lot of pairs and a lot of like gut shots and straight draws and flush draws and stuff like that. I want to start getting some money against those hands. How many two pairs do they have? Very few, honestly. Seven deuce and eight deuce are folds preflop. They're senior. I think they're probably playing a reasonable preflop range. So they have seven, eight as a uh, hand preflop, of which, you know, there's some. They lead for one third on the nine of hearts turn. I think the answer is very clear call. Uh, raising is going to accomplish almost nothing. It's going to fold out their bluffs. It's going to put money into better hands. There's very little we can get value against by raising. But clearly, it's still a good hand, and we're going to call. Rivers the four of diamonds. We do have the ace of hearts blocker, but our opponent can have some straights and some two pairs. 
They bet 95,000. So the question is, do we want to turn our hand into a bluff here or not? We could raise and be like, hey, we have enough flush and try and get the default straights in two pairs. I think it's probably gonna lose money calling here um, because I don't think that our opponent is gonna take like an eight or seven and just lead and then bluff the river. Um, probably not, although it's possible. So they need to do this with deuce X, which they're gonna do, but they don't have all the deuce X, right? They don't have jack deuce off, queen deuce off, king deuce off, uh, 10 deuce off, they don't have. So I think calling is losing. So we're not going to call. The question is, do we want to raise bluff or uh, fold? Which is pretty close. I think we should probably bluff. I think we should probably bluff with our aces. We're bluffing. This is not for value chat. We are trying to get them to fold 8-7, trying to get them to fold 9-7, trying to get them to fold 9-8, trying to get them to fold 10-6 suited, trying to get them to fold 6-5. That's what we're trying to do here. I don't think we can make money calling, and I think we have an ideal hand to bluff. We don't block straights, we block the flush. See if it works. This is an advanced poker hand, and I'm not sure it's right, to be honest. I don't know if it's the right decision, but it's the one we've made. What's up? What's up, baby? Yo, chat, what's up, baby? What's up? Oh, it's crazy. Was that a good decision? I don't know. But it's heart and commitment to the game. Honestly, Tony would be impressed, I think. We're out here, chat. We are out here to play, Dottie. We are out here to play. Let's go. That was intense. That was intense. I, I'm kind of happy with how we thought through that as well. Damn, that was sick. That was the sickest hand of the session, for sure. Someone clip that. Rebecca, you're busy, but we do have to send that out. We got to make an edit of that one, because that is, that's some interesting, it's interesting on a high level, and then it's also interesting on a low level where people are like, what is he talking about? He's bluffing aces, right? Like, if you don't know what you're talking about, in poker and you just see that you're going to be like what do you mean he has the best hand in poker what do you mean he's bluffing so like i think it's going to enrage noobs and it's an interesting hand for high level players as well that has that has viral potential that hand i do think i do think it has viral potential so let's really go all out on that one make a vertical for instagram vertical for youtube vertical for facebook edit it so it's tight but we get all of my thoughts in there as well uh, with like a cliffhanger lead in where it's like, you know, I think we have to bluff or something like that and then it cuts back. You know what I mean? Anyways, East 9, we get an open to 35,000. Folding. Looking forward to hockey season. Also, good luck of luck, 100%, dude. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to going to hockey games. At the Bell Center, yes, but I like the Rocket games because they are one-tenth of the price, and there's more of them, which is fun. So I'm looking forward to going those. I already bought tickets to the season opener. I'll definitely go to a couple Habs games this year as well, maybe three or four. 
uh, watching the team as well. Although I don't think we're going to contend, but you never know. It's always possible. Um, yeah, man, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Call is worst, I think. Yeah, I just don't think call makes money, Ben, is the thing. I just don't think call makes money. Two of 16 and seven of eight on our final table. Ooh, it's a bad flop. Hey, it's a bad flop. They lead, we fold. Ooh, it's for one quarter. The stack preservation is worth enough here. I think we're just going to fold. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Sick love. What's up? My bankroll at the moment. Let's go, Battle Knight. Let's go. Let's go. It was me, I fold ace nine. Good fold. Good fold, baby shark. Because it was a worse hand. Uh, let's see what ace nine is. Oh, bro. You fold ace nine? Fold seven years ago. What do you mean? Of course you fold ace nine. What are you talking about? The flush is there. The straights are there. Two pairs are there. Sets are there. You don't have the ace of hearts and you tank fold ace nine? Get out of here. I don't believe you. Fold seven years faster then. Thank you. Moving on. A little awkward here on the turn. I think fold is good.
Ten seven suited. We got a fold again. We're ten blinds deep. It's not where we want to be. We're okay. You know, we have a lot in bounties. We're fine. On the final table, uh, there's 80 players. We're down to eight. Made some money. This is all good news, but it's not looking great right now for winning the tournament. Ace nine off suit, eight blinds deep. We're gonna be all in here in a second. Two players left to get through here, but we have a big bounty, so I'm definitely not surprised to get action if we get some. Up against Jack-10 is Baby Shark, who someone said in the chat they were Baby Shark and they had Ace-9 that hand. I don't know if they were. We make the straight. That's good. 350,000. We're totally in this thing, dude. We're now like, what, five of eight? Three shorter stacks and kind of tied for fourth, honestly. I mean, it's we're in a good spot. 6-8 is going to be a fold. Three way all in here, a7, a3, king8. I'm not sure who has who covered, but king8 has got to love it. Damn. This bounty's gone. This person loses a bunch of chips. Okay. Back to our final table. We're raising ace10 under the gun one with eight left. Luca Doncic calls. We flop an open ender and a backdoor nut flush draw. I think it's a very clear check check here. Uh, yeah, and we like our hand quite a bit. And we have a lot of ways to improve. We want to keep the pot small, especially with the stacks the way that they are. So we check check turns a ten. That turn is um, I don't know if it's good or not good. I'm not sure because we're not drawing to anything strong anymore, but we might have the best hand. You know what I mean? Queen is a relative brick. Can we value bet? I'd say no. Aces. Wow. Pretty incredible to survive, honestly. Um, I'm happy. Although, like, you know, if they three bet preflop, we're not calling, so... 
uh, there's all sorts of ways we could fold earlier, but we kind of dodged the bullet. We could have bet on a lot of streets. So. What a grindy couple tables, man. I mean, this has been intense. This has been real intense, man. Call the fours in position. Variance of the big blind. Who could shove this for 13 blinds does not. Another set, dude? How do we hit so many big hands? It's crazy. We've hit so many big hands today. It's nuts. We might have had like eight sets today. Oh, my goodness, man. It's crazy. I don't think I've ever hit this many big hands. I had to bet 66,000. I think we just call, call, call here. Obviously, there'll be uh, room to get the chips in uh, at the end. Hopefully, they have ace queen. Would be great. Ace 10 would be great. Um, just not tens, not aces, not queens, not king jack, but we obviously call it the bottom set. We beat king queen. $75 bounty coming our way. We are now the chip leader by a lot. We have a million chips. And our first bounty in the tournament, honestly, which is pretty crazy. So let's go. Rolliero goes for the min raise. I'm going to fold. I fold. Don't think there's enough upside here to play. Queens, there's enough upside. I'll tell you that. There is enough upside. Call. Good luck. Risking it all. Eight left in the tournament. 469 plus our 684 in bounties. We've got to dodge the king. We've got to dodge this pesky king. We get it done. Let's go check. Come on. 600,000. That puts us in second place. What a comeback. From being eight of eight and being short for such a long time to now be in second place. What a comeback. Patience, man. Patience is a virtue. And also picking up queens. But then after that, patience. We're just going to take credit for all of it like we're champions. Okay? <laughs> Let's go, dude. Two of eight. Now, the next order of business is get all the bounties. Educate yourself with a big bounty here. Aces against King-10. Um, Ace is going to win. I think we just want to hit the ladders um, against the 112 bounty. is not worth a ton for sure. Uh, I'm going to fold 10 7 suited. It's okay. If there wasn't the chip leader in the big blind and they were all shorter than us, we'd definitely raise. But I think um, they're incentivized to play a lot of pots against us. Ace Queen against 7s here. That's a set of 7s for variance. Takes it down. Okay. This is nuts, dude. We are just absolutely smashing flops, man. Sixes against Queen Jack. We want Educate Yourself to survive here, I think, with that big bounty. 
Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Nope, we are down to seven. I mean, there's a positive side. We lose a player, we're down to seven. We hit a little ladder here, 534 cashed. The bounty goes to Roliero, and we are now in third as we fold threes. I don't think enough of a good lineup or situation here to play. Three of seven. Let's go. And we are 1 of 13 in the Super 215. My brother Matt is still in. So we could have a final table showdown against brother Benny Beans. Police for it. Busted eggs in two tournaments today. Get to know it, eggs. Get to know it, eggs. Bring the heat. Eggy. King Jack is king. Clop the cop. Smashes the jack ball. Doubles up to 620. Ariak, I think, should be short here. Is all in, actually, this hand. Okay. And we're going to play against Ray. I don't really want to get it in pre. Against this under the gun 2.2x open. I'm just gonna flat. Min rays from Baby Shark. Do we call the min rays for a 187 bounty? Just trying to hit trips or two pair? Probably. I think that's the way. That's probably the way. Hit it. Hit it, hit it, hit it, or quit it, quit it, quit it. How about Ariac wins the pot then, actually? Would be good. So that we can get the bounty in the next hand is our hope. Jack high, ace high. Ace high takes it down. There we go. 45,000 chips. They've actually got an orbit, though, which makes it interesting now. Like, they can fold, take the orbit, and see if someone busts, which is kind of uh, it's fun for them. And not fun for us if we pick up queens against uh, an open or something. But the ladder is, what, $100, something like that? Yeah, it's 100 bucks. Uh, yeah, even against a call here, I think we fold nine deuce. King 10, Baby Shark goes for the open. They're going to do this very wide with this bounty in play, of course. But um, Ariac kind of gets to decide what's going on here. Like, our King 10 is going to be a full default. It's kind of neutral with the wider opening range, like three betting to just sort of semi bluff if they fold. And if they call, what do we want to do? We could call. I think I'll just fold stay out of the way here. Hold again. Chippy V-wise, we'd raise here. I don't think it makes sense with the sacks the way they are. We just fold.
This is the nuts. Wow. Limp raised jam from Rolliero for so many chips. Second place. This is a huge amount of tip, chips. Like It's a huge risk as well from Rolliero. And we just won the call, right? Like, you know, great. If Baby Shark vacuums all the chips, awesome. If Rolliero doubles and Baby Shark is a bounty we can get, then great, you know? We, we want carnage here. Our jacks open gets through, which is fine. And a fold. I think we make it 58,000 here. It's basically a click. Hopefully we get to the flop, uh, but I think it's worth it with the 187 bounty and the two broadways. And fold. And fold, ace four sixes. We are down to six left. 187 bounty is gone. And we ladder up to 637 plus bounties, which is also about six, you know, 700. Um, fives, not worth it to play here. Four of us tied for third, basically, right? Not much difference between these four stacks. Um, so that's okay. We're 13 left in the Super 215 as well. Uh, 240 plus our bounties, which is 75 on the second bullet. What's up, Christos Kisenos? We don't operate in as many countries as some of the other sites. So there's just less countries that are allowed to play on party poker, and therefore our tournaments are smaller field sizes. But I think there's some pretty good value based on, you know, I've played maybe like 30 tournaments over the last uh, three weeks or so, not including re-entries, and I've probably final tabled about eight. So <laughs> things are going well, you could say. Um, Let's 3-bet 7-6 suited here. I think it's a great hand to 3-bet, especially these stack depths. Which is super deep, super mega deep. And we're going to bet 80,000 here on the flop, maybe 85,000. Um, we don't like our hand so much, but it is an ace-high board in a 3-bet pause. So we're going to continuation bet. And just check on the turn. We're going to need a 6 on the river to have a chance in this hand. Like maybe a seven, but like probably a six. And we're probably not gonna get to see the river. It goes check, check, river's a queen. We check, uh, we lose to ace deuce, okay. That could have been bad with clubs. It could have been real bad. We're in second place now. Queen nine suited, definitely wanna call the min raise here. And check folds. Raising the button. Against Muggy, do we want to limp call, raise, fold, or limp raise? Just fold to Baby Shark, obviously, but if it folds to us, like, how do we want to play? I think there's a few options. Lean towards limp, I think. Uh, Ace-5, fold if someone else opens. If it folds to us, we raise on the button. Pretty standard hand, I think. Eights knock out the queen jack. We are down to 11. That 268 bounty is gone as well, which is huge. 
That is a huge bounty as Luka Doncic wins a pot here up to 550. Kind of different group breaking out here. We're a little bit on the short side. I think we can defend 6-9. It's not a great hand, but with these stacks, we're going to get to see more turns for free, more rivers for free. Um, we're going to get bluffed less in general. Like, it's just... We get to realize our equity more when we're the chip leader, basically. But a total miss on the flop. And uh, I'll fold. Clop for the cop is going to 3-bet gem for 22 blinds. Not many hands want to do this, in theory. Like, almost none. Um, and they take it down. It's a very sort of strong move, for sure. Today's stream has told me the best place to flop trips or nut flush. It doesn't hurt. I'll tell you that. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. Five six against eight seven. Oh, that is so many outs. Linus F Love takes it down. We're down to ten, and a two hundred twenty eight dollar bounty is gone. New chip lead one point five million. <laughs> Shot down. I don't mind three bit bluffing here. It's not like the right hand necessarily, but it's the right spot. Right. It's like it puts so much pressure on them. We're on the pure final table bubble. We have two broadways. They're opening when the chip leader just won the last pot, so they sort of know that, blah, blah, blah. We go for it. They four bit jam. We have to fold. It's too bad. We're in maybe third place now. It's too bad, but, you know, such is life. Jack eight against the pure min rays. It's going to be a call, unless clop for the cop uh, is in there. Let's see. They fold. So we call. Let's hit it. We quit it. Okay. And our King Jack suited. We flat in position. A two and a half blind raise. We call. Matt calls. Queen 5-4 in the flop. We just bet a quarter here. Decent hand to bluff. Um, a lot of good turns. You know, 10, ace, club, uh, king. Obviously, Jack is decent. Uh, three diamonds is not great. I think we should give up here. And fold there. I think better candidates to bluff thinking Jack for sure. Queens. Here we go. Here we go with the Queens. We're going to raise on the button if it folds to us. And rejam if Klopp raises. Okay, good luck us. Six of six, 637 in cashed, 684 in bounties. Call by pocket sixes. How about it? Let's just keep the, the theme going here. <laughs> Next payout is 777. Weird. All right, we take it up. That's fine. 390,000. That's fine. We're chilling. Let's have a deuce. Binding our time. The other table is on the final table bubble. So we're 3 of 10. Um, this just doesn't update when you're not on the table. But yeah, we need one person to bust in these final two tables. And we will have double FTs. Should be pretty nice. What a sick stream it has been, dude. It's almost enough of a stream to have an uncut stream again, honestly, because it's like probably a triple final table in the three biggest tournaments of the day. No, let me hold it. Like Super 3, 20, 2, 15, and the 1K Grand. Those are the three biggest tourneys today on Party Poker. So, it, well, not the 109 Sunday Party, which has a 1,000 seat, you know, guarantee, 100,000 uh, guaranteed prize pool. That one is a much bigger field. But, uh, you know, in terms of buy-ins, like, these are the big ones. So, kind of sick, man. Just saying. Kind of sick.
for the king three. Baby shark is all in here. Putting the pressure on the two shorter stacks like myself. Three, five of hearts, enough to call a min raise, which we get here. But hopefully uh, someone just regems, we fold, they call, and we're down to five. That's what we want. They call, oof. Which makes this really close, I think, because uh, So chip EV we call here, you know, with most suited hands, that we fold a couple. I think we fold. I don't think there's enough upside, again, with the stacks being bunched up as they are. Um, so yeah, we'll make the tight fold there. It is a tight fold, though it's close. Like, I'm not gonna fold the pure 5-4 suited, the 4-3 suited. So it seems very close to me in my mind. Jam, Don Cheech, got to decide. Do they call off for their tournament life or not? Quad Queens. GG to Luca Don Cheech. We are down to five left now. 777 cashed. Next pay jump is up to 1,000, so it's a pretty big jump here. Uh, $230 or so. We are shortest, barely. Actually, this player is a little bit shorter. And hopefully they lose this pot and we cover them. That would be nice. Still final table, bubble the super 215, three of 10 still. Very short stack on our table. Uh, four 10's not it. Ace five against Jack ten. That is a chip up. We are definitely the shortest stack now. With a good shove hand though, if it folds to us. We need Klopp to fold here. If they raise, we have to fold. Nice, they fold. Uh, we're gonna go all in here. I don't think there's much point in raise folding on 11 blinds. I think we just jam it. Uh, with, with the final five and the stacks the way they are. It could be different, you know, if stacks were different, we could definitely raise full days five, but not uh, not there. Uh, I don't think it's a profitable jam for 13 blinds. And I don't think we want to raise fold. I think we'd rather raise fold ASEX. So I'm going to just fold. Kind of sad to fold for sure, but I think it's okay. So we take down a little pot in the Super 215, moving on. In second place, it seems, or basically tied for second. Here, which is fine. It's extreme indeed. It's been pretty fun, man. Yeah. Glad you guys liked it, though. Uh, I've noticed that party seems to be smashing it on the guarantees before they overlaid a lot. Maybe people are realizing party is very good. I think some people are realizing for sure. You know, hopefully they're noticing from our streams that, like, Matt and I just keep winning everything and. You know, maybe there's some good value. But I think it's also the time of year, right? Like, late August is always the lowest period. People are at EPT Barcelona. People are on vacation in a bunch of Europe, um, taking off August, etc. And when September comes, it's like people are back at work. Kids are back at school. Vacations are over. There's no live poker going on. It's like, it's time to grind online. All the big series start. So, yeah, like everything is hit the guarantee I've seen today. Um, I tried to make that case for the Super 530 to keep it for this week because it would have hit the guarantee for sure. They took it out, unfortunately, just for this week. And yeah, uh, so obviously we didn't get to see it hit the guarantee when it overlaid last week and the week before that. But that's just like the natural flow of online tournaments, right? Like that's just how it is. That's how it goes. August is one of the slowest months. Uh, July is probably the slowest. August the second slowest. 
And then September, October, things pump. December is big time pump, pump, pump it up. Um, and then it's pretty busy up until like May. And then June, July, August are again slow. And then pump it up. So, so yeah, man. Oh, we're going on break and I um, kind of talked through the first minute. I have to go to the bathroom. Just give me two minutes. Okay, chat. Poker Shippers on Twitch. I'll be right back. Stay with me. Hello, chat. We're back. Um, we're just going to stick around because we're, well, we're five-handed and we're ten-handed and, you know, action's real. So let's get it. What sick runs today, man? Uh, in the last couple of weeks, honestly, have been just awesome. It's nice to have another profitable day. We cast for 2,300, not including these two tournaments. So, I mean, basically, we've got about a 2K profit today already, and then everything on top of this is just gravy, so. That'd be good, man. If you could just do that every Sunday, that's 104000 a year. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'd take that. Sometimes. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I want more, but you know. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> But we hit so many big hands today, too. It's worth noting, right? Like, we just... We just kind of smashed every hand today. Uh, that recent command is not recent. It'd be nice if we could delete that, to be honest. Any uh, anyone that is here, because it's just, it's never up to date. It's very useless command, unless we're going to uh, keep it updated, which we're not. There we go. All right. In action, twelve blinds. Uh, shortest stack, but we can bide our time here. 777 cash, the next jump is up to 1,021. And then 1,400, then 2,300 for first and second, plus bounties, of course, for the win. The other table, we are 2 of 10. Basically, three of us are tied for second, essentially. Short stack, we get to call the pure min raise with the queen just suited. Stacks are different than they were previously, right? Like, we are clearly the shortest stack, we're suited... I think we definitely get to call here uh, and a total miss again, so we just fold to any C bet that comes in. Okay, if it folds to us, we jam. If someone else raises like here, we fold.
It's well, it's interesting against Klopp for the cop, uh, to be honest, because we probably get to jam against Klopp if they open the button, but they don't. So raise a three bet call to a flop, queen five four. This is where we want Baby Shark to just put the pressure on Rolliero. Um, you know, like let's get the heads up here. As the shortest stack, like we're not gonna get all these bounties. Let's just get heads up and then battle it out from there. It's fine with me. I'm okay with that. Okay with that. Right now we are not in a position to beg for getting the bounties ourselves. So and we move on. Hand is over on the other table. So we are next up again. We get to jam 10-3 if it folds to us, but it it won't. Linus will raise the button with any two, I think. Sixes, here we go. All right, we're all in chat for 10 blinds. The sixes. And we are going to the final table as well. Baby Shark's got a decision. They obviously want to get this bounty themselves, but they also like being able to put pressure on the other stacks. So I would say it doesn't actually change their calling range that much. Uh, ooh, nice. Very nice hand to see with twos. We are dominating. Dodge the two outer. We do. Let's go, chat. 614,000. We are, we're right up there, right? We're in third place, but we're basically kind of tied. I would say with second. Um, we're all pretty close, honestly. I don't know, 700, 600, 500, 470, uh, and 1.6 million. Like, the chip leader can punish everyone else, but it's anyone's game for second right now. So, we lose a player, which means we're going to be at the final table in just one moment. And I think we're coming to the final table three of nine, I think. Uh, we have the chip leader on our left. It's not ideal. Bah! Final table hype of the 215. Super, coming into the final table, three of nine, with my brother, Matty Ice, on the table. Matty Bands, Mr. Matty Benny Beans, also friend of the stream, Poker Styler, here as well. 319 plus bounties cast, right? So it's plus 75. Uh, first place is 2,000 plus bounties, though. So it'll be anywhere from four to 6,000, depending on how you do in the bounty department. Good luck, us. Good luck, everyone, on the final table. And let's get it. Let's go. Now, this is pretty interesting with the nines here. Uh, I think this is actually a call. I think the jam here is a mistake. Um, we're only gonna get called by better pretty much. We might get called by eights, which would be a mistake theoretically, but they could call. I think we have to play this hand kind of slow because we don't have any good outcomes going all in. They call, we're flipping, right? <laughs> we're flipping or behind. If we pick up the chip free flop, that's fine, but we're risking too much relative to the other stacks to do that. So we just call. We have 45,000, kind of close here. I think we can call getting this price. Uh, hope that we get to show down cheap, basically. But if they keep betting on the turn, we have to fold, right? Uh, we're just hoping they have an ace five suited, ace 10 suited, something like that, where they go check, check on the turn, check, check on the river, we win. Uh, let's see what happens. Fold. We bet half pot, we're out of the way. That felt personal at mods. No, 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 it's not personal at UB car. It's, it's more so just like, there's been times where various mods in the past have made commands that need updating every day, right? And so it's it's not you because you don't make any of those commands. But in the past, we've made commands that need updating every day and then they're not here to update them and then I have to update them, be, you know? And so it's just like, it's not worth it. People could just ask me instead. Um, so yeah, that's that's all, it's just, like, I just don't think it's a very good system for creating commands unless you have, like, you know, a mod team that's just like, all right, I'm going to update this command every day, which we don't have, you know, because I don't think it's worth it for you guys to have to do that either. Call with sevens in position, uh, the six five. We're going to start with a check here on the flop and then probably bluff river. I think here is a good strategy. We don't have any equity here with our hand, so. Um, we're down to eight. I missed what happened. You guys saw it on Matt's stream. I hope it wasn't too ruthless. GG, Mr. Bands. GG, man. Baby Shark, AO. Raise under the gun. Bold. Things fine. 
Sub hype coming in. Art Pan, 47, dropping the six month prime sub. Guess I love the chat for the man. Thank you, Art Pan. Appreciate you. Thank you very much, dude. Kind of you. First, second, I guess it was a blind versus blind here or something like that. Maddie. And we're in third. Do it, Rolliero. Do it. Action. Call. Call in position. Put 500,000, 550,000 in there. Play a pot. Call this baby shark. Call it. Oh, jam. Rolliero. Oh, my goodness. Ace five jacks. Ace. Get him out of here. Send him home, Dottie. Send him home. Rolliero's out. We are down to four. We're basically tied for second. That's so sick. I mean, that's obviously... Uh, that's vibes, basically. Uh, raise fold here? Yeah, I like that. I like raise fold to the cutoff. It's a good um, steel hand um, with the ace blocker. And like Baby Shark can just punish the three of us. But they least want to punish us because we are the shortest stack. So they want to keep this short stack dynamic going on. We open 60s to get three, but we have to fold, like, for sure, with the way stacks are here. First, second, and then third. Bunch of short stacks. We just can't really do anything with sixes there. All right. Cool. So let's maneuver, and then let's get a heads up and win. That's what we want. And it would already be a $2,300 heads up between the two of us. 1500 or 1600 plus 800 Yeah, it'd be 2400 heads up plus the prize pool. So it'd be $4,800. it will be 5 k at least. It'll be at least 5 k uh, 5 9 is going to be fooled if we can get heads up here. Don't understand this game, but still bring it on. Thank you. Let's go, Mr. Tricks. I'm glad you're checking out poker for the first time and welcome. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. We're on a little delay, four and a half minutes, because I'm playing against real people that can watch the stream. So I obviously can't show them my cards or I'd definitely lose. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, feel free, and I'll keep my eyes open in the chat. Uh, fold. We want a queen or a deuce here to get the ladder. We need a queen right here. We are not going to get the ladder. One million for Klopp. Baby Shark still has a lot, and we're kind of tied for third now. Two million, one million, half a million. That's what we're going to call it. Close enough. Go at it, Klopp. Three bet here. Three bet, Klopp. Why not? Do your three bet thing, Klopp. They fold. We call to the streets. Pretty good flop. Three, four, queen, one club. Now, how do we want to play it? Fast on the flop against the C bet? Probably, right? There's so many bad turns of rivers. I think we want to check raise here. Check raise don't fold. Um, we don't even want to induce light floats, honestly. I think we just want to end this hand here. Check jam. Uh, bust against a queen, but then do okay against the rest. Up to 600,000, that's good. Typically, I'd check raise less than all in, but I think our hand is quite vulnerable there. We don't really want to do that. We're not going to induce like a wide bluffing range or a wide continuing range.
Uh, fold on the button. It's not a very good hand. It's not a profitable jam. We're risking too much to jam here uh, with the stacks the way they are. And we can't raise call, and it's like a bad raise fold. So yeah, it's just, it's a hand that looks really pretty, but isn't that value, valuable given this lineup here. Unlucky flip for Matt. I missed the flip. Sorry, Matty. GG, Bree. GG, Matty Vans. Baby Shark raises. Clop for the cop. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Do it. What do we want to do here? Uh, I think we just three bet. No. God. Can we slow play here? Probably not. We're going to jam. We're going to jam. We're not short enough to like three bit less than all in. It looks so strong. Like we've seen uh, Baby Shark rumble for sure a couple times. But that just looks too strong, though. No. Call with Ace Deuce uh, suited in the big blind against friend of the stream, Poker Styler, who C bets we call. Turns a nine. Okay, we check. We kind of hit the turn here against a bet of like two thirds. We're indifferent already, slash fold against middle position. Uh, they bet, yeah, two thirds. I think we have to fold here. Like, we're already pretty much indifferent, but this open in the hijack, friend of the stream, double barrel, this board texture, I think we're folding. We're folding, as brutal as that is, like that is not a nice feeling. It's a tight looking fold. We have a gutter to go with our hand as well, but I think we're just losing. Um, fold the a7 as well with the way stacks are here. It's not a terrible. Steel hand, but can we get three bet relentlessly? We have a shove stack here. We've actually built some distance between us as well, so I think fold is good. Can we get down to seven left? I'm assuming that they were the short stack. They were, yes. Fold. Uh, pretty interesting here with the pair. I think it's strong enough four-handed uh, in that there's a little bit less ICM. A pair is strong. Their cutoff range is going to be really wide here. So yeah, I don't think I'd want to jam this with like eight left in the stacks the way they are, but with four left, I think it's enough to where we're going for it. So we're going for it. Good luck with the fours. Also, don't love like jamming eights. I think I'd like call eights here, uh, but then jam fours and threes and twos. 700,000, beautiful stuff, Dottie, 700,000. Reese Rebet, Ace Queen suited. Uh, it's kind of ICM nightmare to bust here. I think we should flat. Sixes is very close as well. I think this is actually a fold, as crazy as that is. And this, I think, is a call and try and flop, which we, we cop the flop. We cop the flop. <laughs> Linus F. Love should like recognize that my flatting range is very strong and like very strong smashes this flop. Uh, they go for C bet. I think we want to check raise. Yeah, I just check raise small here. But they probably have like two pair of set or something, you know? Like. Uh, I'm going to fold queen eight as well. Wow, that's crazy, man. That is a crazy call down. That's crazy. 
Three bit pot under this ICM situation? Oh my goodness, Bree. That is wild. That's really not. What is. Hey! Bro, what do you mean? What do you think I'm bluffing my face off there? Run a million. All right. Tied for second here. Ace Queen suited. They chip up a little bit to 400,000. 400, 600, 800, 2 million. Ooh, close, but I think fold. It's fine. Pretty interesting against a jam here, the 162 bounty. Thankfully, it doesn't come in. I think we'd have to fold to a shove here in the big blind. The shoving range is going to be tighter than this one because they can just call and close the action so much. Um, and we'd have to risk our stack against the chip lead, which we don't want to do. And their bounty is worth less. Um, go to a flop of ace, queen, deuce. We are going to bid half pot. I think it's fine. And here with ace four, I think stacks are close enough where we just want to rejam the offsuit ace here. Which, um, I mean, this opening range could be close to any two. Might be any two, but probably is more like, uh, you know, 85% or something. So uh, we take it down with a C bet. We're going to raise King Jack. We are two of eight now, I think, is a lie. Full to th the three bet here. And uh, three or four, kind of tied, kind of tied here. The fold, I think, is fine. We don't want to fold everything on the button. I think King Eight suited is a pretty good hand, not a hand we want to fold. Um, we've kind of already tightened up our button range, in which case, like that's the adjustment we need to make, basically, and that's it. Uh, check check here on the ten ten five is fine. We turn an eight, which is gorgeous. Basically, don't fold now, I think. Uh, I guess a really bad river would be like Jack of Hearts, um, Jack of Spades kind of thing. But yeah, I think we call this bet. Six is fine. Uh, just call down. Hearts miss, Spades miss, straight draws miss, except for 9-7. Um, we have a great hand. If they have a 10 and we lose, that's fine. Good luck. They have a 10. Unfortunate. Really bad turn for us. 1705 51 is our cash there. Um, disappointing. It's just a bad turn, man. It's just a bad turn. Short stack, uh, turning the pair on the paired board. I don't think there's a way to get out of the way. Somehow, uh, second place lost to first place. I don't know what just happened, but I don't even have to look to tell you it's a nightmare. Wow. Queens, Kings. Pretty sick. All right, uh, so we're down to seven here. We're in second place, 432 cash, but 1705 is our cash in that one. 170551, which is pretty awesome. Um, so cash is on the day. We're up to 4,026 in caches, not including our Super 250 in final table. which only has one bounty, so 500 cash. This is our second bullet. Our first bullet, we got a $50 bounty, and then our second bullet, we have 75 in bounties, but then you know on the final table here, so that's what's up. Let me change the title to final table super 215, and let's win this thing in second place, a great spot to be. First place will be, uh, you know, 4,000, 4 to 6,000, depending on bounties. And we get a walk, which is nice. Just kind of sucks we have the chip leader on our left, but like two and a half million, one million, and then everyone else has like 300, 400K. 
this is like an extreme ICM scenario for second place, right? Where like we're out of position to the chip leader and they can just roll us basically. Because for us to bust in seventh when we're in second by a decent margin is a big, big mistake. So let's not do that. Okay, Bluffalito is all in against Poker Styler. Takes it down. Um, fold here as well, I guess. It's an I guess for sure. It's not like we're not happy to fold, but. Ace Jack, King Queen here. That is a flush draw for Bluffalito. Smash the turn. And what you can is out. We're down to six. 519 cashed. Okay, nice. And we continue on our grind. Fold the two and a half X in second place here. As we are very much like, you know, a little bit in the blender here for sure. I think small bet, like a side board so favors us here. As second place in chip against the chip leader, they're just going to raise so many ace highs. Like so many they're going to raise. So I think just like bet, clean up some equity here, get them to fold is a good idea. Not that we're going to get them to fold many better hands, but we don't really want to play the check call game. Because the chip leader out of position with stacks the way they are, just like bet finish the hand is advantageous to us, I think.
Linus makes it 40,000. Linus wins. Uh, yeah, it's just a fold again, dude, honestly. Like, you know, of course I want to play, but it's just no great setups here. It's just so little incentive for us to play right now with uh, sort of trashy hands. 7 8 suit is not a trashy hand, but with most hands, it's just like, eh, barely worth it, Bri. Five eighty diamonds. Not enough. Pocket fours, okay. And that'll probably limp if it folds to us in the small blind. If someone else raises, I think I'll stay out of the way. But it does fold to us, so we limp, call a raise, and try and play sets, basically. Uh, or we can play like a chill pot again, like we did last time. It's a big raise, four and a half X, but we still call. Well, that's so small. Um, yeah, I mean, theory says, like, you just can't fold theoretically for this small, like one sixth of pot. Um, so we just call, check, check turn, we check the river. It was a 10, okay. It was just too small to fold a pair, for sure. Raise it up, friend of the stream, Poker Styler in the big blind folds as well. All right. Eight fours of folds. Raising the gem from Ray Mysterio. And we could be down to five here. That's a flush though. Wow. Ray Mysterio flops the absolute nut. Drawing to running full house from Slabs Jr. And it doesn't come in. So we fold the seven deuce. Hmm. 
Sixes against Jacks all in. Um, we want the sixes to win here, so we get the ladders. But unfortunately, another short stack chips up. Linus has got two million still, and the other shorties are getting closer to us. Not a vibe. It's not what we want, dude. It's not what we want. Don't get me wrong. We want to win the tournament and get all the bounties ourselves, but you know what I mean. I don't think that improves the amount of money we're owed from this tournament. You know what I mean? Today's a good day to chill and play for sets. Yeah, that's exactly what we've been doing at Big Ben all day, man. Thanks for chiming in, by the way. Ooh, it's quiet out there, man. Chatting to myself for 10 minutes. My goodness. I get it, man. You're all W cooping. You're scooping up pots. I get it. But I appreciate those of you that got me on in the background, chilling out. And I hope your session is going well. As well as ours is, or better. Gold King Six. Do we want to raise the fives here? I don't think so. Because what happens when we raise and they jam? We have to fold, I guess, which we don't really want to do. And when they raise and they fold, that's great. And it's nice we get to win a pot like that. But it's probably not worth a ton. Um, so yeah, I think we want to check back. They bet 20,000 the flop. We're going to call. Like, I think we'd rather raise 10 to 4 offsuit in the big blind. Or rather raise nines in the big blind. But with fives, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of upside, you know? They check... I think I'm going to small value bet here, actually, and then check the river. I think this is our best chance of getting value from anything. Uh, if they check raise, fine. Like, we can just, you know, be done with the hand. Uh, twos and nines with the ace kicker. Makes it close to a value bet here, but I think a check. I mean, you almost want a value bet. They have ace eight. Yeah, I mean, they played their ace super uh, passive, and therefore, we would have value on ourselves. But we kind of like that run out. We think we have the best hand often there, I'd say. How do we get on with the grand? I had to do some work. Eighth place, bud, BCFC. Eighth place, min cash. And now we are in second place. And second place is not a fun place to be with the chip leader on your left. But, you know, such is life. No set, check folds. GG, raise your eggs in the Super 55. Take that, eggs. Take it. Patience is a virtue. And it definitely is taking some patience on this final table, right? Like, it's a grindy final six. <laughs> Ray Mysterio opens. Linus rips City for 30 blinds. Let's get some carnage here, man. Let's get a call. No? All right. All right. Ace Queen. Nice hand. It's a very nice hand. It's pretty awkward against Linus, honestly. Makes me want to limp the ISO. Nah, I like raise better. It's raised, but I don't think we are folding here. It's pretty awkward now. Oh, now I think we're folding. I don't think we can call off with us being all tied here. I think it would be a mistake. 
If we win and double up here, we're on 1.4 million and they're on 2 million, but it doesn't actually change our equity in the tournament that much. Uh, and if they have like nines, it's a nightmare. So yeah, it's just a fold. Painfully. Poker Styler, front of the stream, going for the double up here. Ace Queen Aces, probably gonna get it. I don't want to jinx it, but probably good enough. Oh, it's jinxed. Absolutely jinxed. Chop pot. Chop pot. Absolutely jinxed by me. So sick. So sick. We all vibing, very relaxed. Glad to hear it, man. Glad to hear it. Sorry, Jamie, in the Super 55, 410, listening through and through. No worries, man. It's okay. You don't have to chat if you're here. You don't have to chat. It's not your job. You can chat as much as you'd like to chat. I just do appreciate it, obviously. It makes it easier. It makes it easier to stream and nice to have conversations. But it is my job to run the show, not yours to run it. So I get it. Slabs goes for the open. King Jack is pretty decent. I think worth a call. Um, jam is also an option, but I think unnecessary. They jam, so we fold. This could be carnage. The poop has been thrown and a fold. Yeah. Yup. Yup. Oh, man. Line is three bets. You used to watch your Hearthstone stream it like 2016. There you go. Ben and Yuckmouth. Let's go, man. King three suited. I think worth opening here on the button. It's not an amazing hand, but, you know, it gets a six blind stack with a bounty. I think we want to play it on the button. Um, we'd fold junky stuff, obviously, because of the chip leader, but uh, suited king is not junky. And are we going to play a pot against Poker Styler here? We would be priced in to call off, for sure. But I think we just prefer a fold and take it based on, you know, our actual hand strength. Uh, we got to bet the flop. They have less than a pot size bet left, so we're going to bet with our king high. Hopefully they fold. They do, thankfully. Good news. So we pick up the pot, because if they call, we're... We need help, <laughs> basically, if they call. Uh, fold the king deuce. We need help. Let's go, Yorkshire Ace. Final table of the Super 55. Get it, brother. Get it. Good, lork good luck, Yorkshire. There it is. There it is. Shout out to Yorkshire. Jack 10 hits that 10 on the turn to survive. 233. No ladder. That's fine. King 10 suited. I think definitely good enough to open here. Uh, you know, suited broadways are strong. It's hard to pick up a suited broadway. Doesn't mean we can call all ins from these stacks, but. Still going to be worth an open. I'm trying, Yorkshire Ace. I'm doing my best to get there, man. We're trying our best. Slab ships it. Slab takes it. Laughs in the face of Rey Mysterio. Get rolled. Next hand. Um, check. The king five. Continue past the flop. I don't see much point in betting king five, though. We're not folding out ace highs. We could fold out maybe king six or king seven without a diamond. And that's it. So basically, we're just not bluffing anything with king five. We can get them to fold hands that have equity, but that's it. I think better candidates are going to be queen highs, jack highs, ten highs, nine highs that don't have a pair. 
So yeah, just check this in. Now on the river, we make a pair. We're going to value that. Hope to get a call from an ace high, from a deuce, something like that. And I think we do get a call there. Ace five, nice. That went well. The jinx, so sick, man. So sick, the jinx right there. Sorry, Endus. Painful, man. That was my bad on the Jinx Serene Cappuccino. True. So 12 and a half, 25K. Okay, we're going to get some action here. Uh, honestly, like, we're just not that far from the tournament ending. We're just not that far. I'm thirsty, chat. I like we are probably gonna make it to break in twelve minutes and I gotta grab a drink because uh I didn't get one last hour and I'm dying of thirst here. Ten eights a fold. Slabs is all in. That three sixty eight bounty would be so nice, but we don't have anything to get it with. Blafalito. The poop has been thrown. This means it's a strong hand, but the not the nuts. That's what I think. Cause I don't think the nuts throw stuff. I think it's like, you know, ace queen, tens, something like that. It's like nervous energy throwing the poop. But what nervous energy equates to different players depends on what they're like, you know. Two and a half X uh, fold. I'm happy to fold here. I think that's right. And third. Or deuce going to be fold as well. In front of the stream, Poker Styler Endos is all in. Does he double or does he hit the dust? Got a hold ace 10 against deuce 8. I don't know. Against Linus? Ooh. GG, man. GG, friend of the stream. Poker Stylus Endos is out of the tournament. Very unlucky there to bust, man. GG. Uh, good showing, though. Obviously, good run. On to the next one, chat. We are five left here. We pick up East King in the button. Um, 640 cash, and then it goes up to 850, then 1200, and then 2K, basically. I'm rounding a bit, but. Uh, so big opportunity here against Bluffalito three bet we four bet against a jam. I think we call as well you Gotta think like getting this bounty <laughs> Is worth seven hundred dollars and like you, they've got seven hundred behind on their head as well So you've got to think it's closer to like fourteen hundred dollars Because you're gonna win the whole you know your own bounty some frequency. So it's probably worth like a thousand and what I mean to say is, like, getting a big stack to where you can potentially earn this bounty at some point is valuable. Of course, probably Linus is going to be heads up against someone. Probably. But not guaranteed. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of money up for grabs in that stack. We have only $75 in bounties, which is crazy. At this stage of the tournament. To be that low bountied. Bluffalito <laughs> oh, has earned 212. Okay, I thought it was 2,000. Uh, Linus has earned 1,300 already in cash, in bounties. $1,300 in bounties, and then 630 in the prize pool. So already $2,000 for Linus with five left here. Uh, pot size bet in a jam. We kind of want slab to fold so we can get the bounty ourselves, honestly. And they do. So Ray takes down the pot. 
Slab is pretty short with a 368 bounty. Ooh, now seven blinds. It's a fold anyways now, but... Uh, Got to keep our eye open for Slab's shove, which is, will come at some point, you know? Not enough here with the big sack behind, even if they go all in. I guess if they limp, I could probably limp along. Other than that, it's just a fold. Next hand is going to be real gangster, right? Because people are going to open wide with Slab's bounty in play. And Linus is going to 3-bet wide against wider opening ranges. Bluffalito is not going to put up with it some. And then Slab's obviously is going to have, you know, six blinds behind. So, uh, or 5.7 blinds behind. It'll be really interesting to see how this next pot plays out. And we just want a hand, you know. Like, just give us something to work with. A little East Queen, maybe a little East Jack, something like that. Officially, my biggest cash. Let's go, Yorkshire Ace in the Super Fifty Five. Love to hear it, man. Let's go. Buffalito bets a hundred thousand, takes it down with enough flush. Another short stack. Now this is good news for us in third place, right? We like this. Nine ten suited. I think we raise and then we fold to like jams or whatever, right? It's definitely good enough to try and get this bounty. It's a decent hand, but they're gonna aggressively play back. They just go for a call, call. Just call slabs. Yes. Get to see a flop, man. Do you want to bet? I kind of like that, actually. Like, our hand is not very good, but we have so many good turns of rivers. Like, 8, 9, 10, jack, and diamond are all pretty good. Wow. We probably don't blast off here, though, with the two short stacks. Uh, I think we should check. Probably check call, right? And just hit our flush. Be good. Uh, check call, honestly. We river top pair against a pretty weak range. Uh, they don't bluff, but that's okay. Against 6-7. All right. Uh, raise ace-5. We're on 1.2 million. That's very good news. Now, we're not going to 4-bet jam against Linus. I think that's a really bad idea, but... We're definitely going to play against slabs. If they go all in, Bluffalito goes for the squeeze, we fold. All right. So we're in second place now, but we can uh, we can do it. Is that actual Linus? No. No. This is nice. Uh, we get to call this. I hope the door is closed. I'm not sure if it is, but we're obviously going to call. Whether it is or not, Ace Deuce is pretty good. They go for the regen. We have to fold Ace Deuce now. Linus for the double knockout and for, like, I think there's a call, honestly. It's only 10 blinds more. It's for 700 in bounties. So and we kind of want Linus to get third, both of them to double, but it looks like Linus is just going to win. And we're three-handed, so they get 700 in bounties. This is an absolutely bounty smash by Linus. We're three-handed, so 1186. Linus has 1,056. They've earned $2,012 in bounties, and we're still three-handed. They've already earned more than first place, and we're still three-handed. And the heads-up match is double this and then double what the other person has. So it's a 2,000... A twenty-three hundred dollar heads up, or a twenty-four hundred dollar heads up match, or, or basically a twenty-three hundred dollar heads up match, basically. So, yeah, uh, first place for us will be about four thousand, a little bit more. Uh, I think I'm gonna fold to the two and a half x in second place. This ladder is very relevant, honestly. It's an eight hundred dollar ladder, and our chances of winning the heads up. Are there, but it's like it's not. Um, they're they're going to be heavy favorites because the way the chips are. So like getting from third to second is actually relatively important to ladder eight hundred. It goes eight hundred dollar pay jump then two thousand dollar pay jump. Uh, but it should really be like you know a six hundred dollar pay jump and then a 
$2,000 pay jump based on the way the stacks are. So it would be a really good deal if we could do that. Now, Ace King, obviously, like, we're ready to rumble. Bluffolito, ship it in there, three bet, whatever. I don't care. Here we go. For a 156 bounty and to get heads up in the tournament, no. Uh, we lose the flip with Ace King, which really sucks. They jam for way too many blinds with fives, by the way. 26 blinds, but it's fine. It's okay. We're still alive in the tournament now. We have 11 blinds. Um, sad. It's just sad vibes. But we can come back here. We can fight back. And Linus will be able to put so much pressure on Bluffalito now. So now we've got to kind of ninja our way through this three-handed. We've just got to, like, bob and weave and pick up chips when we can and stay patient. But there's no patience necessary with an ace on the button for 10 blinds. We're ahead. To get back to 600,000, just a berry. Run cold to end the day, chat. 1260, 83. A little disappointing there for sure, but you know, there's nothing you could do with the cards given. All right, uh, plus 1260, 83 is 5,200 in cash, just 2,000 in buy-ins, a $3,200 no, $3, profit. With only 2,000 of buy-ins, so 250% you know, ROI. Pretty good, man. Pretty damn good on this Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think all three of those tournaments were interesting. The Grand, the Super 320, the Super 215. I think they could all be their own videos. And I think we got another uncut video as well, which is so sick. So if you're watching this on any of the video platforms, uh, like YouTube, thank you. And I hope you liked it.